We just come in. I said, shut up. Shut up. I said I don't want to hear anything. Just, just leave my sight. I just said I don't want to hear anything from you. What's going on? Linda, it's been a long time. How are you doing? I'm doing great, as you can see. And I see you. You've ended up becoming a sales boy. <laughs> I'm just trying to arrange this whole thing. Today. Oh, because it's your job, obviously. <laughs> I remember in school, you used to act all high and mighty. The intelligent one. The one with the first class. So, this is how you ended up. So miserable. Go ahead and continue with your job. And let me tell you something. I'm here for the post of the manager. By the time I resume, obviously I'm going to be picked for the job. I will make sure you see hell. Just go ahead and continue with your job. Rubbish. Wow. It's a nice place. I can't wait to start working here as the manager. Oh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How may I help you? I'm here to apply for the post of the manager. Oh, that's wonderful. Did you not see the boss? No, I did not. Oh, that's fine. It's not a problem. The boss already told me if should anyone come in, I should handle it. So, miss it. All right, then. Thank you. So, do you have your resume with you? I already sent it to the company's mail. Okay, give me a moment to check. Okay, I see it. Linda, yes? Yes, Linda. Okay, based on your resume and the conversations we've had, well, this is good. It looks good. I think we can hire you. Really? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Just give me a moment. I need to sort something upstairs. All right, I'll be back. Now that I got the job, <laughs> Jason is going to regret himself. <laughs> um, hi, Linda. Um, I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot, but how about we start off again? How's your interview going? Who do you think you are to question me about how my interview is going? Anyways, I'm going to give you the information you need. I got the job. And I'm going to make sure you see hell in this place. You're just a sales boy here, and I'm the manager. No, you need it. You really need just to. Just shut up. I don't want to hear anything from you. I mean, why do you think I'm going to um, make up with you? We just come in. I said, shut up. Shut up. I said I don't want to hear anything. Just, just leave my sight. I just said I don't want to hear anything from you. What's going on? Mom, what's wrong? This idiot tried to harass me. Sir. <sighs> sir? Why, why are you calling him sir? He's my boss. 
Um, Ma'am, I'm very sorry for wait, the... Wait, wait. Jason owns this place? Yes, he is. He owns the place. That's not possible. I saw him cleaning the things outside. He's just a sales boy. Are you not mistaking him from, for someone else? I am very sure I know my own boss. You know what? It's okay. You see, apart from the fact that she's lying here with a camera around to prove it, she's just been miserable because I don't understand why you had to slap me in the first place and eventually lie against me. Like, I came here so we can resolve whatever past difference that you think we both have. Um, Jason, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You see, at this point in time, I think there is no gain saying in saying that you need to leave. You chose her for the manager job, right? Yes, sir. Well, we need to get another candidate. Mm -hmm. Jason. Because we can't have her here. Please, you need to leave. Jason, I'm sorry, please. You need to leave. I'll be upstairs. Jason, <sighs> please. I'm sorry. Jason. Ma'am, please, you have to leave. I'm sorry. Please, you have to leave, ma'am. It's also stained my leg. So what are you talking about? Mom, I, I cleaned it. Are you trying to argue with me? How dare you? Ami and Iris. Yes, mommy. I am so blessed to be a mother to such beautiful angels like you. I know how well desired you are. I know how you have brought fortune and money to me in this family. And how you have secured deals for me to get the richest men in town. I am honestly so proud of you. Mom, we learned from you. Oh, so I have something to discuss with you. Do you know McDonald? The name rings a bell. Of course it should. He's the new chief executive of Fogbounce Oil. Okay, Mom. So what about him? Invited him over to my house. I met him recently at a business meeting and I asked him to come meet my family. He's single. Mm. And I'm just hoping one of you will end up settling down with him. <laughs> Mom, trust us. We are going to look our best. Of course I know. I trust you. <laughs> I know you will come out with the very best. I want your dressing and your makeup to speak class. Because one of you will bring more money and fortune into this family. Mom, Please, dear. we won't let you down. I trust you. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I trust my girls. <laughs> Where is that useless girl? Freya! Freya! Mm. Wow, I'm going to be the one settling down with Mark Donald. And who told you he's going to pick you? Uh, you know you don't have a better shape than me, right? <laughs> Anyways, I'm ordering a nice outfit from Sophia Alexa and let me tell you, the dress is going to look so well on me. I'm going to be the damn cell of the night. <laughs> you know, if you don't have the perfect shape for the dress, it's not going to fit. That's a lie. I have a good shape and Mark is going to choose me over you. No, he's going to pick me. That's not true. He's going to pick me. He's going to pick me. It's me. No, it's me. I'm the one getting married to him. It's hmm. me. Hmm. What's the argument about again? 
Anyways, I got you girls here from Turkey. So it's coming in tomorrow morning. Yay! Really? Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Anything for my girls. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. So. So happy. Mom. Yes. Ari said Mark is going to choose her over me because I don't have a nice shape. Why are you taking this married thing so serious? It's about the money for me. Whoever marries Donald must bring in money into this family. Mom, I want to be the one ending up with him. Mom, I was just playing with her. Amy, I was just playing with you. All right. You heard her? Okay, good night, girls. Good night. Happy night rest. Bye. 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 So, um, introduce yourself. I am Amy James. And? I'm Iris. Well, it's, it's so nice to meet you ladies. Same here. I, I must say, you guys are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what are your interests? Like, what, what do you love doing? Oh, I love cooking for myself. And for my future husband. Not bad. Um, what about you? I love traveling and just the good things of life. Okay. Um, no other interests? Like, does any one of you follow politics? No. Um, I just surf through the internet, check gossip news, I follow Hollywood. I'm just a social media influencer. Well, it's not a thing for the ladies, though. For my interest is politics, financial sector, and stock market. You know, things like that. I'm sorry, I just wanted to let you know that the food will soon be ready, and um, I'll bring them soon. OK. Uh, sorry, my apologies. I reintroduced myself. Pardon my manners. I'm McDonald, and you? Um, um, I'm Priya Edwards, the maid in this house. Oh, nice to meet you. And you too. And um, I overheard you talking about politics and stock analysis. Oh, you, you follow Business Inside, right? Of course. Two days ago, I was so shocked that shouldn't you be in the kitchen? Um, hold on, hold on. Um, Guys, just give me a few minutes. Uh, I just want to talk to her. About I'm sorry. She needs to go back to the kitchen. She's cooking. <laughs> she needs to get back to that. Oh, she's, she's cooking? Yes. Oh, that is not a problem. Uh, I'll just follow her to the kitchen while she cooks. I just want to ask her a few questions. No, no, no. You don't need to stress um, yourself. Don't worry. Why, why would I say all this? Uh, come on. I won't take time. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> No, don't, don't, don't worry. You don't have to do this. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> don't worry. This is, this is strange. Oh, Priya? Uh, so you're so interested and you're following up with Business Insider. Yes, of course. As I was saying, I was, I was so shocked two days ago to see that ExxonMobil acquired extra 5% for my refinery. What? So you are up to date? Of course. Uh, what do you think about uh, the company's decision? Well, following the analysis on Business Insider, I think this opportunity is a great one for them. In the next two to three quarters, <laughs> they should have a return on their investment. So, a good opportunity for them. Yeah, it's a good opportunity. Uh, so, um, what do you intend to become in the future? Well, I, I would like to study accounting. I'm actually trying to get into school now. So. Accounting. Yes. Um, 
So, which school are you looking at? Well, I've been trying to get into Leeds University. However, I'm having financial constraints. <laughs> that explains why I've been... <laughs> that explains why I've been <laughs> scouting for every job that I can get. So, I can get finance to pull me through school. Really? And... In my 100 level, I would like to take the Chartered Accounting examination. Well, I think those are my two goals for now. Wow. One doesn't have to wait till they are far off in their career before they take the exam. You're right. You're, you're right. <laughs> so, I think we've stayed too long. Before I, I get queried, I oh. lose my job. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, can I have your number? Uh, my, my just. Number. Continue from there. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll give you a call. Okay. <laughs> Bye. One Freya, you did a very good job yesterday. Now let me ask you something. Are you out of your mind? Is something wrong with you? Did you forget your role in this house in the first place? Did you forget why you were employed in this house? I mean, it's the audacity for me. You walk into a place we are humans are having good conversations and an animal that you are, you decided to interfere because that's exactly what you did. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Oh, shut up! Tell me, what came over you? What came over you? You just decided to ruin our whole day. You moved the attention from us to you, princess. Ma he he was the one who engaged me in the conversation. I, I... He was the one who engaged you in the conversation. No, you did. You jumped into the conversation yourself. Mrs. Business Financial Analyst, right? You're very intelligent. You're very smart and brilliant, right? And you end up becoming a maid. I'm sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. Now, let me warn you. Drag your ears very well. The next time you try this rubbish, the next time you try this nonsense in your miserable life, you will meet your poor mother at home. Fool. Wretched <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Freya. Yes, ma'am. Did you clean this place? Yes, I did. I swept and I mopped it. You swept and you mopped this place. Look at the sole of my feet. It's stained with dirt. And it's also stained my leg. So what are you talking about? Ma'am, I, I cleaned it. Are you trying to argue with me? How dare you? <laughs> now go and get something inside and mop this floor. Let it be sparkling clean. Yes, ma'am. Financial analyst. Fool. Oh, 
mustiki na su. What's with the crocodile tears? I think that's Donald. <laughs> yes, that should be Donald. Yes. Oh my God. Should I get it done? Don't worry, I'll get it. Okay. How do I look? You look good. How are you? Fine. It's good to see you. Oh, yes. Um, oh, is this for me or my sister? Oh, it's actually for Freya. Is she in? No, she's not in. Oh, I've seen her. Thank you. Hey, Freya. Hey, Freya. Freya, what's wrong? You've not been returning my calls and... I paid for your tuition. What? Yes. So your dream of becoming an accountant is valid. I'm sorry. But I don't think I'll be able to take it. I'd rather just maintain my job here as a maid. And besides, you only paid for one year. What happens to the remaining years? Priya. There's nothing in me paying for four years. For your accommodation for the next four years, I will pay it. And if you need extra books for school, I can employ you in my company. You just want me to call my HR and, and tell her. You make a few boxes for yourself just to sustain yourself in school. Don't know. Why are you being so kind to me? Freya, that's because you are every man's dream girl. Freya. You are the girl of my dreams. You're my dream girl. Ever since first I saw you and we spoke, I knew there was something different about you. I, I, I can't just figure it out. I... Freya, will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> my God. Yes! Yes! Hold on, I'm coming. And who are you? I'm Evans, the one you've been chatting with. Evans? Yes. What? Wait. Are you the one I've been talking to back and forth? Yes. The one I've been chatting with? <laughs> oh my God. I am so disappointed in Annie right now. Uh, I'm sorry, what do you mean? Well, she told me you're one rich and handsome guy, but I can't believe what I am seeing standing right here in front of me. Well, I'm still the same person. You know, they say beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. <laughs> well, in my eyes, all I am seeing is an ugly goblin looking like a church rat. But we've been chatting all along. You really admire me. And 
Besides, we really had a soft landing. What soft landing are you talking about? I thought I was chatting with an intelligent person. Not, it, I can't even fit the person I was chatting with, the person standing here. It doesn't make sense. But at least you got to know some part of it. Oh, will you just shut up? I don't know who you are. I, I don't even know it was you. You're looking so haggard. I mean, what is this? Look, um, everything we chatted about, I want you to forget about it. Just act like it never happened, okay? Because I can't see myself being with somebody like you. It can never happen. No wonder you insisted we shouldn't see each other's face. Oh. I wanted to be surprised. What surprise are you talking about? I mean, Evans, you're here? Yes. Oh, that means you already met Cora. Why did you invite him in? Oh, just shut up, Annie. Annie, I am so disappointed in you. Is this the ugly duckling you're trying to connect me with? Cora, what do you mean? You know, I don't even blame you. It's you I blame. How can you be so brainless, stupid and foolish to introduce me to such an unfortunate person? Cora, you just called me stupid and brainless. You both are really lucky I'm in a very good mood. I'm so sorry. Let me just walk you out, okay? I've been in the hospital for so long, that's why the house looks so different. Well, it will definitely look different to you because you're in the hospital for so long. Just take it easy. You should even be grateful because the doctor said you had a major injury to your brain. But the operation went so well, I'm glad. But, Annie, how were you able to sort out the hospital bill, the money for the operation, I knew, I knew it's going to be a lot. It was a lot. A lot of money. I don't know what I would have done because that amount was so much. But how were you able to afford it? Because I know we don't have insurance. You don't have to rack your brain about that. Why don't I have to rack my brain? Oh my. I'm sure you took a loan. So that means I'm going to spend another five years paying for it. You are not spending any five years paying for anything because Evans paid for your hospital bills. Evans? Cora. Uh. Evans. D. Evans. Let me tell you something. You would have died if not that Evans called for the emergency services. He was there with you at the hospital till the last minute. He was the one who paid for the initial deposit of $1,000. For there to be any treatment at all, Evans was really there till the last minute. Are you serious? Yes, he's your lifesaver. Even after I spoke to him rudely. Oh my God. Well, I told you that he's a nice guy. Are you? I just hope I've not chased my helper away. Should be told, he's gone. Let, let's get to see him again. You know, at least to say thank you for what he has done for me. Cora, I honestly don't know about that. 
but what you can do for yourself right now is just take care of yourself and get better which will start by me getting you food first okay i will get you something to eat Still trying to call him. Yes, but he's not picking any of my calls. You know what? I'll just give you his address so that you go apologize to him in person. Really? Yes. So you had it all to swell. I'll text it to you now. Thank you. <gasps> You're welcome. And that looks bye. That's my drink. Okay.
Hi, Evans. Hi. What brings you here? Don't act like you don't know why I'm here. Well, I don't know why you're here. Okay, I, I came to say thank you for sorting out the hospital bill. Annie told me you paid for everything. I really appreciate and also I want to say that I'm sorry for how I treated you, how rude I spoke to you. <sighs> Come on, you don't have to mention it. It's fine, it's nothing. I just had to pay. And I see you still have your bandage on. Hope you are healing well. Yes, I'm getting better. Evans, yes, I'm here to apologize and I'm also here to say yes. Yes to what exactly? Yes to your proposal. <sighs> Look, Cora, you don't have to tell me yes just because I paid for your hospital bill. That is not my definition of love. Evans, I am not saying yes because you helped me. The feelings just came along the way. That's nice. But we can't be in a relationship, I'm sorry. Okay. How about friendship? We can at least be friends. Look, Cora, I'm engaged. Yes, and my fiancé wouldn't like me to keep female friends. In fact, I have cut off all my female friends. As you can see, I was doing something when you came up. So I will beg you to just leave my house and I continue what I was doing. All right. Thank you once again. You're welcome. This restaurant is expensive, but I've always wanted to eat in this restaurant. And today is my birthday, but I don't have enough cash. Well, maybe I should just give it a try. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And please, how much is your cheapest food here? Oh. Uh, the cheapest food is about $50 plus, but we'll let's order. Uh, and you know what? Don't worry, I think I'm in the wrong place. Let me just leave. No, 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 no. Don't worry. You can have your seats. I am sure there's something you can afford. Really? Yes. yes. Okay. This restaurant. Pardon? You heard me correctly. I said, What is someone like you doing in this restaurant? What every other person comes here to do? <laughs> oh, come up it. Don't deceive yourself. We both know you don't have the money to afford meals in this restaurant. Wait, wait. I get it. You came here to steal people's phones, right? No, I came to eat. Oh, I came to eat. But I heard you talking to the waiter that you don't have the money to afford the meal here. So why are you here in the first place? Well, I've always admired this restaurant anytime I pass by. And I heard they make good food. Today is my birthday. So I tried to give myself a good treat. But I thought I could actually get a bottle of water for one dollar. <laughs> oh my God, you're so funny. 
you must really be out of your mind. A bottle of water for one dollar, look, let me tell you, a bottle of water costs ten dollars in this place. I don't know. I thought I would be able to afford it. Listen up, let me advise you. In your miserable life, don't you ever walk into a restaurant like this. I mean, it's so crazy for you to think you can eat and dine with successful people like us. Yes, it's crazy, right? <laughs> Whatever. I noticed you are about to leave. What are you still waiting for? Nothing. Then get going, leave, leave here. Poor thing. Don't be in a hurry to leave, please. Apologies for grabbing your hands like that. I was just trying to stop you from leaving. I heard you say today is your birthday. Yes. And you wanted to give yourself a good treat, right? Yes. But I don't think I can afford their meals here. Maybe I'll just go out to get no, you. No, 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 don't do that. You want to give yourself a good treat. Yes. And we must make that happen, okay? Excuse me, madam. Why would you leave your delicious meal to stand up and talk to someone like this? What do you mean by someone like this? Oh, madam, you know what I'm talking about. She's a low-life person. Well, it's because some of us did not grow up with a silver spoon. And we were not just able to afford a restaurant like this magically. Some of us has been in a situation like this. And I understand what it means to be unable to afford what you like, especially on your birthday. So this is just the least I can do for her. Whatever. I mean, you shouldn't have stooped so low to talk to a wretched person like this. Take this $100. Eat whatever you want in this restaurant. Okay? Oh my God. Have more. All this for me? I just want you to give yourself that good treat you want. Just, just treat yourself to some nice things, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, Ma. How can I ever pay your kindness? You're welcome, dear. You don't need to do anything for me. You know what? Just pay it forward. And happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> Finally. Please come. How much is my bill? Oh, your bill is $75 plus tax. Oh, okay, one minute. I can't find my phone. Alright, uh, what about your wallet? I don't use wallets. I use my Apple Pay app on my phone to pay. I can't find my phone. Oh my god. Madam, please, I need to attend to other customers. You need to pay up. That's what I'm saying. I can't find my phone. Ma what do ma I need madam, to do? please, you need to pay up. I have other customers to attend to. Just give me a minute. I can't find my phone. I'm sorry, I will have to call the security. No, you don't need to do that. I have the money to pay. I just can't find my phone. Security! Oh my god. Please, I'm so sorry. I just can't find my phone. I don't know how to manage. Security, this madam has finished her bill and she's here to pay. Please make sure she pays while I attend to other customers. Alright, sir. Madam, please, you have to pay your bills. Or else I will report you to the authority. Please, sir. It has not gotten to that. Don't do this to me, please. Madam, please, I have no other option here. You have to pay your bill or else you will face the court of law. No, no, no. It hasn't gotten to that. It shouldn't get to that. I can't find my phone. I have the money to pay, but I just can't find my phone. Madam, I have no other option here. Please, don't do this to me. 
It shouldn't get to that. Please. Oh my God. Please, sir. Madam, don't worry. Your bill has been paid. What? The person paid and also gave us $20 extra for you to go home. Oh my God. Who could that be? Uh, your bill was paid by this young lady. Thank you. You can go. Excuse me. Yeah, any problem? I heard you paid my bills. You know, the same way you overheard me talking to the waiter, that was the same way I overheard you telling the waiter that you lost your phone. But why would you do that? I just insulted you, talked down on you, and even mocked you. And you went ahead to pay my bills for someone that made you feel so bad. Well, I think there's only one way to answer the question. Um, and what could that be? I understand you treated me badly. But you know, we should not pay evil for evil. How am I a better person if I treat you the same way you treated me? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have treated you that way. Please, I'm so sorry. Please, forgive me. You know, I learned something new today. What is it? I think you should also pay it forward. Pay what forward? Kindness. Thank you. You're welcome. You must be very stupid and senseless. Teach you a lesson. What have I done? What have I done? Madam. this poor looking irritating poor man very irritating ignore him and let's go i wonder what he's doing with his young age for him to look this old and dirty i i, I guess he uses it for nothing useful well obviously he probably uses it for drinking you might be right even if i have money i'll never give it to him Let's just forget about him. There are two nice restaurants in this area. Um, Bite more restaurant than uh, Yomitis restaurant. Which would you prefer? Mm. I think the Yomitis restaurant sounds nice. Okay, let's go there then. Okay. All right. Ah, okay. Well, I don't think I like your meat taste restaurant. Well, but you asked us to go there. I know, I'm sorry for the stress. I don't like it. Okay then, let's go to Bite More. Really? Mm -hmm. the poor beggar? Yes. He is. What is he doing here? I don't know. Did they allow any help people into this restaurant? I don't know. Let's just go and sit down and call the waiter. What do you think? Sorry, let's just go. Don't, don't mind him. this place but I don't like the fact that they are allowing anyhow people even beggars coming in here just relax that doesn't have to bother you okay relax and enjoy yourself okay I'll try that's my baby girl <laughs> what is this beggar doing here I, I'm sorry do you have a problem with me sitting down here or am I in any way disturbing you Yes, I 
have a problem. A beggar like you shouldn't be seen in a restaurant like this. <laughs> You're not on the same league with us. But I, I'm sorry. Please stand up and leave. Excuse me, madam. Please, you need to stop this. It's not acceptable here. What do you mean? I'm only looking out for your brand. I understand, but not this way. Honey, they just don't understand the help we are doing for them. Let's just have what we ordered. Eat and leave. And we won't come back to this place ever again. Yes. Never. Um, we want a large size of pizza and a yogurt. Yes, please. Okay, I'll be right back. I still don't know why he's here on this table. Don't mind him. He look wretched. Finally. What's this one still doing here? Madam, please just stay with us. Better not come back. Looks young. Let's endure. After all, we're not coming back here again. Okay? I'll try. Eat. Don't mind him. Please. Thank you. Babe, that reminds me. Do you remember the grant I told you about? What grant? Babe, have you forgotten? The grant I told you about, I was expecting. I remember. Guess what? What? I saw somebody there. Just talk, who? What is going on? Olivia, from college days. Yes, I remember. Olivia, what is it? Yes, with that, we are at an advantage of getting the grant. So what position does she hold? Hmm. General manager. Interesting. In fact, I am so happy. And that's why I don't want anyone spoiling our mood. You have a point. Okay. That's nice. What? What? I am sorry. I thought we were all hungry together. You must be stupid and insane. You! So disgusting and irritating. I can I can I can share this into three for for us. What don't you understand? Is it because I've been so calm with you? Well, I'm sorry. I, I, I was just hungry. You must be very stupid and senseless. I'll teach you a lesson. Ah, what have I done? What have I done? Madam, why did you do that? Why won't I? The pizza you brought for us, this stupid beggar here has been eating out of it. Is it stupid? Look, madam, this pizza is for him. The other will come in the next five minutes. What do you mean by this is his pizza? He ordered the same pizza we did? Yes, including the drink. Why didn't you say anything? Okay, yes, um, I, I, I bought my order and you guys decided to share with me. You still shared your pizza with us even after everything I did to you, all the words I've been saying to you. I thought you guys are hungry, so I allowed you guys to share. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. Uh, I, I'm sorry too. I'm so sorry, sir. Please come with me so you can wash off. Sorry, sir. Why did I even do that? I've been so awful to him. I just think we should be nice to people. 
next time. We just need to take things easy with people. Okay? You don't need to feel bad, okay? It's okay. Right? Let's just go, please. What are we doing here? Mom, I already told you, we are here to visit an old friend. Really? Yes, Mom. <sighs> Why is there a ribbon tied on it? It's just a decoration. But before we go in, we have something to tell you. I'm listening. Mom, you've actually done more than enough for us. We've watched you take care of us as a single mother, single-handedly. Mom, there were times you had to do many jobs just to keep up with us. I could remember you working so hard around the clock just to provide for us. I mean, it wasn't easy, but Mom, you stood by us and you're still here till today. Mom, I remember when you fell down from a train just because you had to go sell that night just to put food on our table. You did all of that for us. You are always welcome. I am your mother, and it's my duty and my responsibility to take care of you. Mom, as a token of our love, we have a little gift for you. Yeah. Mom, we just want to use this little token to appreciate you and tell you thank you for all you've done for us. We really, really appreciate you. What? And we love you, Mom. My girls! Oh no, Mom, don't, don't, don't cry. cry. We love you. <laughs> You're supposed to be happy. <laughs> it's okay, Mom. It's okay, Mom. <laughs> Let's cut it, Mom. <laughs> Thank you, my darlings. Thank you, beautiful house. About the new house you bought for me. Even the biggest blogs has carried it online. Really? Let me check. Wow. This is true. Even the internet hub carried it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I can't see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is going on? <laughs> Mom, mm -hmm. Have you guys seen us on Star Wars news? Same thing we are talking about right here. The internet is buzzing right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. so I'm excited. No, I am more excited than you guys. <laughs> and I am so grateful for your accomplishments in the entertainment industry. Who would have thought we would be here? We would get this far. I mean... I'm really, wow. really grateful. I mean, from us not having what to eat to us having enough to eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. It is. I'm very, very excited. Welcome, my girls. Thank you, Mom. What is the problem? You look troubled. Mom, guess who reached out to us today? Who? 
dad. Dad? Who is dad? Our dad, your ex-husband. After 20 years of raising you girls alone. Well, when he called, he started with an apology. He asked us to forgive him for everything that he did. And he wants to be in our life. We should forget about everything that happened in the past. Oh, you mean Saul said all this to you? But mom, you haven't told us why dad left. You keep hiding this part of the story. Hmm. Well, the decision is for you to make. I will tell you a story I have never told you. Congratulations, Mr. Soul. Your wife just gave us twins. You should be happy. Tell me, what should I be happy about? Doctor, the only reason you're sitting here in my house is because you are my friend. My wife is so inconsiderate. She doesn't... I don't understand. Okay, tell me, how does she expect me to take good care of these twins? Uh, Mr. Soul, I'm sorry. What are you saying? Isn't this clear? She's a wicked person. My wife know I am not financially capable. Mr. Saul, you should be happy. I mean, your wife gave you what you gave her. You impregnated your wife. And she gave you two beautiful girls. I don't care. All I need is a male child. A child that will carry my name forever. A child that can go out and walk. Not, not a woman. What will I do with a female child? Mr. Sol. Listen, I think I'm done here. And there's nothing she would say that would change my mind. You can excuse yourself now. Mr. Sol, I'm just saying you Doctor, should... you can leave my house now. Go. Doctor, leave. Sorry about that. So girls, this was what happened after 20 years that your father walked out of the hospital door. I never heard from him again. He said nothing would come from him for having twins. I shouldered the responsibility alone until now. I decided not to talk to him again until eternity. Mom, you mean dad did all this to you? Yes. And since then you've not tried to reach out to him? I did. I went to his parents' house. He was nowhere to be found. I went to his office to look for him. He walked me out, screamed at me. Later I heard he left town and he has gotten married to another woman. Mom. <laughs> I'm really so sorry that you went through all of this. <laughs> but you don't have to worry again. You have us now and we are not going anywhere. We are here for you. Mom, please stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. We love you. We love you. Are you expecting anybody by this time? No. It's kind of late. Did you order something? No, I didn't. Let's just say with that. Come in, the door is not locked. Good evening. Good evening. And who are you? You mean you do not know me? I'm your father. What? What? How did you get our address? Girls, uh, don't let us bother so much about that now. What is most important 
is that I am your father. I brought you to this world. Without me, you will not be here. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Well, thank you for letting us know you brought us into this world. But right now, can you please excuse us? Plus, visitors are not allowed by this time. I'm not a visitor. I am your father. I have been trying to reach out to you and your mom. I even heard that you bought her a house. Don't you girls think I deserve one too? What? <laughs> Please, excuse me. Buy you a house. What did you contribute into our life that will make us buy you a house? I'm your father. Without me, you will not be here in this world. I am sick and I need money from you for my drugs. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I am your father. Always remember that fact, please. I need money from you for my drugs. Saul, what are you doing in my house? Faith, please let bygone be bygone. I have been trying to reach out to you and our daughters for some time now. Please, let's forget the past. As you can see, I am here. I need help for my drugs. Please, Faith. See, you are not getting a dime from me or my daughters. After so many years, you have the guts to come into this house to beg for money? Get out of my house before I arrest you. Faith. Out. Faith. Please, I beg you. Let's forget the past. Hmm. Please. Don't let me call the cops on you. You better leave right now. Poor people are not smart. Okay, so I advise you watch movie or continue your cleaning. Stop it. That's too harsh. See, I'm done with the fact that no one is telling this guy the truth. It's poor! My son, you are still cleaning since morning that you have been cleaning. I guess that. But you know, my brother is coming and he doesn't like that. So exactly. I don't want him to meet a dirty house. I know all you normally do is just play around with the duster. Nothing this thorough, you know? Yeah. I know that. I just don't want him to meet a dirty house. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I, I will just uh, get ready to go pick him at the airport right now. And that I also made his favorite meal. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. Then. All right. Okay. Hey, guess who is home? Your brother. You're welcome. Dad, I'll be upstairs. Okay. Uh, Dad, yeah. what about your luggage? Oh, I forgot. Well, let me go get it. Oh, okay. That would be nice. That would be nice.
Sharon, you should be next. Can't you just get a better word? Hi guys. I see you guys are playing games. Yes, babe. Can I join in? Hold on. This game is for smart people. And you know that. Only I allowed your wife to play because my wife insisted she should play. Listen. Poor people are not smart. Okay, so I advise you watch movie or continue your cleaning. Stop it. That's too harsh. See, I'm done with the fact that no one is telling this guy the truth. He's poor. That's because he's lazy and he's not smart. Babe, can't you be humble for once? He can play. But I'll never be saying playing a game with a, with a poor and a stupid person. Dumb fool. Why are you playing with your grace? Babe. Babe. Honey, did you see the way your brother disgraced you? Treated you as if you were trash. Why would he do that to you? You are his blood brother for Christ's sake. Oh, babe. You just said it. He's my blood brother. I hold nothing against him. I still don't understand how you can take all of this. The way he treats you, I don't understand it. Babe, you know me. You see, uh, he's my brother, and I don't want to escalate the issue. If I'm to take it up on my brother with the hurtful words he was saying to me, then what is the essence of we traveling down here for family holiday? <laughs> Babe, I understand. And if you don't understand, it's fine. Babe, I do. It's, you are right. It just amazes me how you handle everything. Babe, like I said, it's just me. And that's why I love you. <laughs> I love you too, honey. I'm famished. I need to go get something to eat. Babe, why do you want to do that when I'm here? Don't worry. I don't distress you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Wow. Wow, this wine tastes so good. It's like the best I've had lately. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Your brother actually went the extra mile to get it. Oh. How do you feel about it? There's nothing special about this. It's a cheap wine for Christ's sake. So how have you been, Dio? You know, I got a promotion and my darling wife started our clothing business. In the last month, she has sold over 7,000 clothes. Mm. Wow. That's impressive. That's impressive. Well done. So, Craig, how about you? Um, well, I... <laughs> God, God, why? Not again. We all know he's a loser and a church rat. Listen carefully. If he's the only one left to talk, I think let's end the meeting and do something else. Dear, what's the matter with you? How could you be speaking about your brother in such a manner? Dad, take for instance, I came for the family's Thanksgiving with the latest bands. But my brother here came with a car that we don't even know the model. Isn't it clear? 
Let's stop beating around the bush and tell him the truth. Oh, please. Dale, that was harsh. Besides, he's your elder brother. Elder brother, my foot. In this society, when rich men talk, poor men shut their mouth up. Listen, it's not about the age, Dad. It's about the wealth. What you can provide. Well, Dale, I think you should give your brother some kudos. Kudos? Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll give him some kudos for being the poorest son in this family. So you think it's all about material things? Don't you dare tell me to stop. Enough, Dale. Craig, please ignore him. Kindly tell us about yourself. Thank you, Dad. Sure. Well, I want to thank everyone for taking out their time to come together and for us to celebrate this Thanksgiving together. I and my family are grateful. We are thankful for good health and we have enough to eat. I appreciate everyone and I'm happy to see everyone in good health. And the fact that my brother's business is successful, that gives me joy. Just keep my words off your mouth. Poor fool. Enough, deal. Uh, Lucy, please tell us about yourself. Well, um, it's been five years. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> oh, please. Craig. I remember when you were young. You really loved Denzel Washington. You wanted to be like him when you grew up. He was a favorite actor <laughs> and you could do anything just to be in his shoes. I remember that time. You really played his role perfectly. Yeah, I remember those days. I wonder how you make big dream and you never become rich. Dale, dad, please let me be. Let me tell him the truth. Everyone keep hiding things from him. I pay the bills in this house. I take responsibility for anything that deals with finances. And yet, I have a brother in this house. If he can actually be serious in life, at least we will share the bills. And the whole load will not be on me. But yet, it does nothing. Loser. You shut up. <sighs> Well, I promised Greg not to speak about this to anybody. But I guess I have to now. Craig, I'm sorry. I have to speak out now. No, Dad. Do you remember the time when there was an opportunity for either one of you to travel abroad and study? Yes, I do. And I was selected because I am the smart one. You were not picked because you were qualified. Nor were you picked because you were the smart one. It was actually your brother Craig that was picked for the scholarship. Craig. However, because of certain reasons, he could not go. For one, I had issues with my leg and he felt compelled to stay and take care of me. Secondly, he felt that if he went, where would his upkeep money come from? Because you were just too young to work. So he decided to pass the scholarship opportunity over to you. And that was how we allowed you to go instead. While he stayed back and worked to take care of everybody. He took care of me, your mom, your sister, and even you yourself, all your medical school expenses, you took care of. Even while you were doing your housemanship, most of the expenses were borne by him. But Dad, uh, all the money came in from your account and you, you never said a thing of such to me. Yes, 
I did not say anything to you because he said I should not say it. He said I should not let you know. He said he did not want you to feel guilty over it. And he doesn't want me to appear less of a man in your presence. So that's what happened. Brother, I'm sorry. I, I'm truly sorry. I don't know what to say right now because I would never do that to anyone. And yet, you did it for me. Bro, please. Find a place in your heart to forgive me, please. Well, I... I don't hold anything against you. You're my brother. And I will continue to love you, no matter what. Thank you so much, brother. Dad, sis, I'll be going back to the abroad next week. And I want my brother to come with me. Yes, because I must get him a good job. Thank you, brother. That's great. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Right. That's Thank all right. You. That's all right. Bro. Thank you. Finally. Oh. Uh, please. This is this is a, 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 a car key. Just, just pass the book. <laughs> Mom, Dad. I have a proposal I want to make. I hope it's not about that car you told me you want. Actually, Dad, yes, it's about the car. I knew it. I knew you. I mean, you've been talking about it for quite a while now. Yes, I need to remind you so you don't forget. And besides, tomorrow is my birthday. Yeah. Kelvin, dear, you know we can't forget your birthday. It's like something that we dare not even, you know, Forget. And come to think of it, if I may ask, why do you want a car for your birthday gift? Yes, Calvin. Why a car? Yes, um, I want a car because I am doing well academically. No, 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 no. I know you, son. Of course you are doing well academically, but that can't be the reason why. Okay, Dad, you, you got me there again. The thing is, I'm a big boy, and I can't be seen walking from my hostel to my college all every day. Hmm. I need an easy means. Okay. I and your mom have heard you quite clearly. Um, we will see what we can do about it. Uh, of course, you know money does not grow on trees, so let's uh, let's wait and see. Dad, I'm not buying that. You are rich and you can afford it. Come on, son. You don't rush your dad into matters like this. Yeah. Okay, okay, mom. I will not rush that. And that mom is the only reason you are sleeping tonight. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, oh, my God. I wanted to taste the drink. I actually got it specially for the both of you. Thank you. Cheers! <laughs> yeah, <that. laughs> I thought someone should be home by now. Why is everywhere this dark? Surprise! Surprise. <laughs> Mom, Dad, yeah. thank you so much. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kelvin. Happy birthday to you. Congratulations, son. Thank you, Mom, Dad. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. And to be honest, this means a lot to me. Wow. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, 
to your son. Well, to them, yes. Wow. Um, thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mom. I'm sure this is my cocky. <laughs> yes. As, as I say. Okay. <laughs> Is there something else? No, son. That's your gift. Okay. A, um, in, in, in novel? Dad, Mom, I regret the day you both gave birth to me. Mm. Mom, don't you say a word. I told you just one thing. A car. I gave you both everything you asked for. I was the best in school. I came out with good grades. I gave... Everything, my time, my attention. I was a good son to the both of you. And this? You call this a birthday gift. I promise you, Mom, Dad, you will regret having me as a child. Oh, son. Uh, don't you dare come close to me. Hmm. You will regret this. I promise. And I hate you both. So guys, listen up. I need one of you to tell me a story. But listen carefully. Don't tell me any story from the useless novels or any motivational words. Because I know the both of you too well. There he goes again. Kelvin, why do you hate novels so much? He doesn't know what he's missing. Yeah, yeah, we know. But Kelvin, let me put it to you. You see? Inspirational books are enjoyable, especially this particular one. Um, you mean the timekeeper? Trust me, Kelvin. This book is enjoyable and it will inspire you a lot. I, I wish I can have the book, but unfortunately, I don't. Timekeeper. Yes, that was the book my dad surprised me with on my bed a few years back. Wow, really? That silly and useless book. Never. I would not read such useless book. I threw it away and I remember my mom kept it in my library. It should be there or somewhere. Are you crazy? Do you know that book will actually save me some bucks? Kyle, Francis, chill. There's no need for insults. Don't worry, I'll, I'll just find a way to get it. Go get it, please. Kelvin, please go and get the book. You guys keep stressing me. Ugh. What kind of friends are this? Stressing your friends. They are your best friends. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't know what he's missing. I'm telling you. Fine now. Let's have it. Like I told you, it was dusty. Let's have it. Come on, don't be silly. <laughs> finally. I'm reading this book next when you're done. Wow, finally. Oh. Uh, please. This is, this is a, 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 a car key. Please. Just pass the book. So my lovely son, your car is waiting for you at the car lot. Happy birthday. What's the problem? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. What, what have I done? Kelvin. Uh, please guys. I'll be back. Kelvin. What have I done? What have I done? What could be the problem? Let me 
You just bring by the book for us to read. That's my job. Yes. Mom. <laughs> Dad. I hope all is well. Mom. Dad. I'm sorry. Little did I know that the gift I rejected is the place you kept the car key of the car you bought for me. Okay, my son. Uh, now that you have seen the key. We just wanted to teach you a lesson that sometimes it's not about the cover of the box that really matters. Yes, my son. Uh, we, we thought you would have at least opened the book to see the content, you know, before dumping the book the way you did. It's a pity it took you two years to now realize. <laughs> Honey, it's not funny, you know. My dear, you mean my joke is not funny? Mom, Dad, you need to stop this now. I, I can't wait to drive my new car. Dad, my car is in the car, right? I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. I need to go test my car now. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Uh, wow. Impressive. Wow. So, tell me, how was business rolling? Uh, business has been so stressful. I mean, attending to customers, everything involving medical attention is a whole lot. I have told you several times, learn to take break. Visit your family. Family is important. Yeah. Anyways, thank you for the apprentice you gave me. I mean, she's really good. And she has really improved. I mean, she's very smart and a fast learner at that. What are neighbors for? You know, I'm certain you will do the same thing for me when I'm in need of help. Sure. I'm actually planning on going for a weekend vacation with my family just to spend time together with them. And my apprentice will take over when I'm not here. Wow. So, when are you going? Um, that should be tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh, wait, you told me nothing about this. Yeah, I was actually planning to pay you a visit. But, I mean, you're here, so there's no need for that anymore. I expected that from you, your usual excuses. I'm so sorry. You know I'm a very busy person. Indeed. <laughs> Actually, we all are. So, um, I noticed something about this particular sentence. I love it. It's great. Yeah, everyone is giving compliments for this particular sentence. Right. Yeah. It's one of our top-notch sentences. Well, I think I need to copy this and make my own style to look exactly like this. <laughs> oh, come off it. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Winifred. Hi, she is not around. I am her apprentice. How may I help you? Um, okay. Here's a list. I need the drugs on them. They're my daily medications. Okay. Just give me a moment. Okay. I think this is all. So, how much is it? Five dollars. Five dollars. All right. Um. This should cut that, right? understand how I feel. Like my body temperature is hot. 
and I feel pains. Please, can I get something to use? Okay, I, I have something for you. Um, can I have this? So you take this, pop use every morning, do the same at night. How much is it? It's $20. That is expensive. I don't have such amount of money here. Madam, this, this drug is, the price are fixed. Please, can I? Is it, is it possible that I, that I just paid what I have and then I pay the rest later? Okay, how much do you have? I have ten dollars in my card. You know what? It's it wouldn't be nice if if I if I deprive you from taking this and you're in so much pain. After all, it's my job to save lives. It's fine. Bring it. I, I'll take it. Good afternoon, ma. <laughs> Business is going fine, ma. Yes, we're making sales. Ma. Oh, no, no, no. There's no problem at all. Not at all, ma. All right. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Um, so, have you gotten the package? I, I did not see any package. Okay, okay, I'm not having a problem. I, the delivery man called me that it's getting close to your store, so you'll be getting it in no time. Okay, sir. I wanted to remain focused and do as planned. Remember, this is the only chance we have, and we need to work this out. Listen carefully. You don't need to worry about your balance. <laughs> you get the credit soon. All right, sir. Good. Please, like I said, remain focused. Okay, sir. Are you Dr. Winifred? No, I am not. I am her apprentice. How may I help you, sir? She's my friend, so I just want to see her. Okay, she traveled actually. However, she'll be back today. You can go and come back later in the day. Don't worry. I'll wait. Um, all right. Have a seat. Thank you. Are you Dr. Winifred? Yes, I am. And you? I am from Food 
and Drugs Administration Control. Mrs. Winifred, you are under arrest for selling counterfeit drugs, for giving your customers wrong prescriptions. You've endangered their lives, and many are admitted in the hospital. I'm so sorry. I'm sure you must be mistaken somewhere. We don't sell such drugs here. Neither do we give wrong prescriptions to our customer. We are very diligent and honest with our work. Interesting. Here is our search and arrest warrant. I don't need to see this. Just go ahead. Okay. Is this store covered with CCTV cameras? Yes, sure. Okay. Can I see the footages? Yes, yeah, sure. My CCTV camera is connected to the tab. Let me have my tab. Here you go. Interesting. Do you know this man here? Yes, sure I do. He's one of my friends and a doctor. He comes here often. Oh. oh. Can you call him to come over? Sure, yes, I can. One second. Hello? Yes, I'm back. Are you around? Yes. Um, please, could you kindly come to my store? All right, thank you. See you in a few. You should be here soon. Hi. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Winifred, you never told me you were back. Yes, I came back last night. Is this your buddy? Is he all right? Yes. All right. Ah, uh, Dr. Winifred, take a look at this. This looks suspicious. What looks suspicious? You see, I want to know what you both were exchanging here. Um, please, can I take a look? Um, please, what's suspicious about this? Because I come here often, She's my friend, and this is our apprentice, so sometimes I come and visit him. I see you're trying to play smart. Hmm. Interesting. You see, we don't just arrest without doing proper investigation. Give me a minute. Yes, please come in. Nothing, I think it should be some mix-up somewhere. Just relax. Dr. Winifred, do you know this lady here? No, I don't. I mean, a lot of people come here, so I can't keep their faces anymore. That's good. You see, this lady over here is an agent. She came here undercover to buy drugs, and someone sold counterfeit drugs to her. You see, those counterfeit drugs sold to her by your apprentice here would have caused damages to herself, or it might have led to her untimely death. Is this true? Answer me! I, I, I'm very sorry, Ma. I, I'm sorry. He, he needed an apprentice and, and decided to employ me as an opportunity, Ma. Who? Dr. Alfred. He paid me to be your, your employee and, and instructed me to to destabilize your company. Your, your progress bettered him and he wanted to destroy you. He, he said I should sell counterfeit drugs and, and at the end of the day, people would avoid your pharmacy and the police would arrest you and your pharmacy would shut down. I'm sorry, Ma. I'm highly disappointed in you. I didn't just take you as my neighbor. I took you as my brother. 
What? Oh, now it occurs to me why you keep coming here often, smiling, giving me advice, laughing like you cared. Just because you want to monitor my movements, to know when to operate, right? No, 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 no you, you cannot do this, please. Oh my God. Please arrest him. Also, ha. Sir, please, you're under arrest. Ma, you're under arrest. Please move. I'm so disappointed in you. I mean, I think... Thank you very much for coming. I mean, this would have cost me a whole lot. You're welcome, ma. Please. We indulge you to do a proper background check. You see, this would have led to the termination of your license. So next time, be very careful. You have to be very, very careful. We'll take our leave now. Thank you. Welcome. Um, I hope you like the place. <laughs> yes, I like it. I'm glad you do. Um, I heard you pay yearly. Yes, and um, one thing, I'd like us to have our rent before it's due. I hope you can meet up with that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Good. So I'll be going to get groceries soon. Would okay. you be coming with me? Oh, I'm fine. I'll sort myself out. All right, no problem. Come, let me show you to your room. All right. That's so lovely. Yeah. Oh, Cindy, you're here. Hi, Oprah. Hey, I'm so famished. Go oh, get yourself something to eat. Yeah, I'll be back. All right. Okay. Cindy, I can't find my food in the kitchen. Oh, I ate it. I was hungry. <sighs> that was my last meal. I was really hoping to eat it. But you know what? It's fine. I'll just look for snacks. Okay. <laughs> no. You can't win me. <laughs> hey, Cindy. Hi. Oh. Did you take the juice I kept in the fridge? Oh, yes. I was craving. Um, Cindy, I think I'll appreciate if you took permission before you take any of my things. All right. Noted. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sure is so lovely. I can't wait for it to arrive. <laughs> okay, I'm going to rock it with my black dress. Mm -mm, no, not my black dress. My what dress. are you going on about? I just got this beautiful shoe online. Oh, it's so see. nice. Yeah, it doesn't be here. Oh, wow. This is actually really cute. I got it for $500. <laughs> 500 Wow. I know. It's really nice. Thank you. <sighs> it's going to be here. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait for it to arrive. Um, that reminds me. Uh, my groceries are finished. 
Okay. I think you should go get some groceries for the house. All right. That's not a problem. Would you be giving me cash or you make a transfer? No. I think you should use your own money. Because I got the last one we used, remember? I don't have no money. <sighs> Come on, Cindy. You just got a new pair of shoes. Use my food allowance. <laughs> you know, Cindy, to be honest, I really, I'm not enjoying this because you're really becoming a burden to me. Yes, ever since you came into this house. You've not contributed in any way to this house. You don't buy food stuff. You don't buy groceries. You don't pay any bills. It's tiring. Come on. It's because you're my friend. Don't be stingy. Stingy. It's not about being stingy, Cindy. I mean, I work hard for my money. I pay my own bills, my tuition fees. I have to work and use my own money for all those things. I'm not as lucky as you that your parents send you money. Please, you need to change. And you need to do better. I'm sorry. It's fine. I just wanted to change. I'll change. <laughs> Alright, let me get going before they close. <laughs> okay. I love you. Love you. <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> Cindy. 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 Oh, Oprah, please. Oprah. Did you see my detergents? Oh, yes. Um, my clothes were dirty, so I used it. Cindy, that was literally the last detergent I had, and I needed it to wash my clothes. I'm sorry. You know what, Cindy? From now on, I don't want to touch my things again. Oprah, has it gotten to that? Yes, it has. Stay away from my stuff. Get yours. Okay. No. I don't want to just say, okay. I mean it. You know what? Okay, you use it fine. Let me have some money. I need to get another one. I don't have money to... Cindy. You know what, that's it. I don't want to touch my stuff anymore. Don't touch them again. Why are you overreacting? It's just detergent. Detergent. Well, get your own. Okay, fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Cindy, how are you doing? Hey, I'm fine. Yesterday at school, I expected you to meet me, but you left early. Yeah, I had things to go sort out. You know, promise is a debt. What do I owe you? Really? You told me you were waiting behind. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. I find it hard to believe because it is the second time you are promising me and you are failing me. Okay, so what do I have to do for you to <laughs> believe me now? Just wait behind and that's all. When are you coming to school? Don't forget the final test is today, except you want to fail. Are you serious? It's today? Oh my god, I'll be coming to school anytime soon. I, I don't want to fail. I won't. Thank you. And lastly, don't forget to be waiting the end. Okay. <laughs> I won't. I love you, Sarah. Bye. Bye. <sighs> I'm so hungry. The highest thing she would do is to yell and complain. <sighs> and I'll say sorry. I'm so hungry, please. I need to go to school like ASAP. But it's nice.
Cindy! 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 What happened? Cindy, what happened? It's me. What happened, Cindy? Oh, Why am I on the floor? What happened to you? What, what happened to... Are you okay? Should we go to the hospital? Oprah, what time is it? It's 8 p.m. What? What is it? What happened? Oprah, this is my dress. I'm so sorry, but why? The last thing I remember was sitting down here and I... I... Oh, I'm so sorry. I... I took your snack and your drink. Snack, snack. Oh my God! You took the drink meant for the dog. I put in the sleeping pills the veterinary prescribed for him. You know he's not feeling too well. <coughs> oh, Cindy. Cindy. <coughs> what the, what the dog? Sorry. You see what I've been telling you? Do not take my things. Most of all, don't take it without my permission. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm so sorry. For taking your stuff without your permission. Look at where it has landed me. The fact that I even had to take something that was meant for a dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at you. Sorry, sorry, dear. Come here. It's okay. But this is exactly what I'm saying. And this is exactly what I'm saying. That you are very stupid. You don't have questions <laughs> and oh, <laughs> Touch me. Is there anything the problem? I'm good. Then why are you so angry? I see you're jobless. Have you given the clothes to the dry cleaner? Yes, I have. In fact, the dry cleaner has already given them back to me. I've arranged them in your wardrobe. Have you cleaned the kitchen? Yes, the kitchen is very clean. And did you change the bed sheets? Yes, I did. What color did you use? Your favorite color, blue and white. Have you prepared my meal? Yes. And what did you cook? Rice and sauce, your favorite sauce. I don't think I want to eat your food at the moment. Just get me a glass of juice. But I really... Now. Okay. Why are you just angry? What is the problem? Are you stupid? Tell me, is something wrong with you? I'm just trying to find out why 
why you are back home this angry? You look so angry. Yes, I am angry. And you are the reason I am angry right now. But what just happened? Just shut up! Listen, I'm not in the mood right now. But babe, what just happened? Is there enough reason for you to be angry? I see you are very stupid. Is something wrong with you? Are you mad? Hold on there. Come closer. Just come. Don't she move an inch. Hold on there. Don't move, beauty. Stay. Beauty! Come. Beauty! Beauty! Come back now! Beauty! Beauty! Come down. Beauty! Then, Mom, I'm fine. I'm not crying. Okay. So, I was thinking I and your dad should come for a visit tomorrow. Yeah, at least to see your face again. <laughs> no, Mom. You can't come visit him for now. I have to sort out some things first. But you said nothing is wrong. Yes, nothing is wrong. The fact that I said I want to sort out some things doesn't mean anything is wrong, Mom. Sorry. Just bothered. There's nothing to bother about, I'm fine. Okay. Um, your dad said he wants to come visit him. Mom, I just told you that both of you cannot come visit him for now. It, it includes that too. Okay. Take care of yourself, my darling. I will, Mom. Let me just start out some things first. something I'd like to discuss with you. I'm listening. Can you just give me like five minutes? I'm not deaf. I'm beside. I'm not listening with my eyes. Babe, why is it that anytime I try to talk to you or just be at peace with you, you always end up being a fight? You always pick a fight with me. What are you trying to say right now? That I am troublesome? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just... I just want things to work between us. And these days it's always like we're fighting. So, you're the peacemaker and I'm the peace spoiler, right? You might be very stupid. If you don't have anything meaningful to say, go to bed. But this is exactly what I'm saying. And this is exactly what I'm saying. That you are very stupid. You don't have friends <laughs> and... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You called your dad, right? What do you mean I called my dad? Oh, you're lying again. I'm not. But that's not the reason I am here. Your dad is insisting he wants to see you. And he's downstairs. But have it in mind that when your dad leaves, I swear to God, meet me. I will deal with you. But I didn't ask him to. I told him nobody should call. Okay. I see the game now. It's quite simple. 
Yes. Before you get downstairs, wear makeup to cover that lesson on your face. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Do I make myself clear? Yes. I'll be in the guest room. When you're done with your dad, let me know. Tell me you were coming. Yes, I know. I know. I was in the neighborhood, you know, to do one or two things. So I said, let me also branch and say hello to you. You know, yes. Okay, Daddy. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, where's Alfred? He's upstairs. He's doing some official work. No, please. Tell him to come downstairs. Please. Dad, he's really busy upstairs. Please, I insist, tell him to, to come downstairs. Okay, Dad. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Sir, I was actually busy upstairs. Sorry I did not join you earlier. Okay. Alfred. Sir. Do you know my profession before I retired? Yes, sir. You used to be a detective. That's good. And you know that means that I'm a very sensitive person. I'm sure you know that. Yes, sir. The last time I saw my daughter is about two months ago. And it's taking her over 30 minutes to come down and see her father. I'm really surprised, you know, by that. And to cap it, she came down with a fake smile on her face. No, Dad, I'm fine. <laughs> she came down with a fake smile on her face. I'm a father, you know. And I know when a smile is fake and when it's real. This one is fake. Now, this can mean only one or two things. It may mean that she's unhappy. Then it may also mean that she's going through some issues which she does not want to discuss with anybody. No, Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm very fine. No, 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 sir. I would never do that to my wife. I love your daughter here. And you know that. You can ask her. She's here. Uh, babe, am I? No, no, daddy. I'm fine. Are uh, you sure? Yes, Alfred is really trying. I love my wife. Beauty. Yes, daddy. Please get me a wife. Okay, dad. Good, good. Yes, yes. Use it to wipe your face. I, I want to see your natural face. Please, go ahead. <laughs> Dad, I can't really do that. I'll be going out in like an hour or like 30 minute time, so I can't really wipe my face. I insist. Please. Wipe your face. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> You're not going to get anywhere with me with that excuse wipe your face i'm waiting okay dad dad 
yes. Wipe the other side. Wipe the other side. Dad, Wipe the other side. Alfred, what is all this bruise is doing on my daughter's face? Obviously, you have been abusing my daughter. Alfred. Sir, 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 it's, it's, it's not what you think. It's not my fault, sir. Of course, it's not your fault. That, that I'm fine. It, it's nothing. I, I fell down and I, I hit my face. So. You are right, Alfred. It's not your fault. It's my fault. It's her mother's fault. We are the ones who pressured her into marriage. Just because our friends' daughters we are getting married, we pressured her. We never stopped to even think if the husband is the right type for her. We never stopped to think if she liked the man or not. All we wanted was for her to get married. And now we are learning the hard way. So when you say it's not your fault, okay, you are correct. It's our fault. All right? It's our fault. That's why you did, you did all this to my own daughter. And now we are turning things around today. Dad, what do you mean? Beauty, Dad. you are going with me today. No, 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 no sir. She, 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 she's my wife. She, I, I would never allow that. You cannot take my wife away from me. I you cannot. I agree. Dad, I'm, I'm fine. I'm really okay. I agree. She's your wife, but she is first of all my daughter before she became your wife. If you don't value your wife, I value my daughter. Sir. Today, I'm turning things around. She's going with me. I insist. That... She's going nowhere. There is nothing you can do about it. My wife is staying in this house with me. Alfred, will you rather I call the authorities before you comply with my instructions? Hmm? You know right now, I can take a picture and send it to the authorities and they will do the needful. See what we did. That is fine. I'm turning things around to you. Beauty. You will go upstairs right now and pack all your things because you are following me home today. Alright? Dad, I'm okay. I'm, I'm really okay. You go upstairs. Fine. Your things. Not leaving anything. I'll be a better man now. I'll be a better person. You know we are to see us. But right now, she's going home with me. Alright? See, let's go and talk about it. My wife, before I miss. Who is she? Babe, this is my friend. <laughs> I am his mistress. Kate, did this moment you know for God's sake? What do you mean by what am I doing here? You should have thought about that while you were ignoring my calls. We can talk about this, but not here. My wife is step back any moment from now. That's your problem and not mine. Look, I came here to tell you I am carrying your baby. What? What baby? When you were sleeping with me, what were you expecting? A refrigerator? Of course I'm carrying your baby. Bring your phones down. 
All I remember was I was drunk. And I woke up close to you in your bed. I'm sure the baby is mine. Don't you dare go there. Do you understand me? Do not go there. As far as I'm concerned, this baby is yours. And how dare you, a married man, accuse me of having another person's baby. You are the one who came chasing me. If you want, you can go do another pregnancy test. You know what? We can do this later. Look, I am not going anywhere. We are doing this here and now. So what do you want? Good question. I want $20,000. It's enough for me to get out of here. You don't have to see my face again. 20 what? Do you think I put money in my house? You can raise your voice all you like. You can afford the money. You can afford $20,000. If you decide not to give me the money, that's fine. I am sure your pretty wife would love to hear all about me and the baby. You have 24 hours. Do you understand me? 24 hours. Babe. Yes, honey? Have the kids gone to school? Yes, the school bus just picked them up. Okay. Uh, yeah. honey? Yeah? Is there something you want to tell me? Something like what? I saw you talking to a lady earlier. What was it about? What lady? Come on. I saw you talking to her and it looked pretty intense. So what was the problem? That's an old friend. We're just exchanging presents with. That's all. Are you sure? I've never lied to you. I'm very sure. Okay, if you say so. I'm running late. All right, have I'll a nice day at work. I love you, babe. Take Is that what she'd be bothered about? What is it, 24 hours? I changed my mind. See, let's go and talk about it. My wife, before I miss you. And... Who is she? Babe, this is my friend. <laughs> I am his mistress. Yes, the person he has been having an affair with. What? Steven! You mean... You have been sleep... Wait. You've been cheating on me? This... Oh my God. Babe, it was a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. Please forgive me. Stevie, what is your mistress doing in our home? She said she's pregnant and she wants me to give her $20,000. And she'll go away. What a beautiful performance. Okay, honey, you know what? I suggest you head out to work since you're running late already. I'm going to sort it out with her. Babe, you're getting me scared already. Are you sure it's going to be fine? Don't worry. She's a lady like me and I think we can sort things out. Are you sure, babe? Don't worry, just go, okay? Young lady, you're asking for $20,000 to leave my family alone, right? I'm going to give you $10,000. Just take it and, you know, go somewhere, travel somewhere and go live your life. No deal. $20,000 or nothing. <laughs> I, I see you have some nerve. Look. Just take the $10,000 and, and just go. Leave my family alone, okay? Your dirty husband should have thought about that before he came after me. You really think I'm as stupid as Steven to believe 
that you're pregnant. You want to put a fake pregnancy on my husband? You're probably stupid. Look, Steven is not the one responsible for your fake pregnancy. This pregnancy belongs to him. This baby is his. It's not. It is. I said it's not. And I insist that it is. Steven is infertile. He can't father a child. Okay? So, take the $10,000 and just get the hell out. <sighs> you have two kids with your husband, your impotent husband. If your husband is impotent, excuse me, who owns the two kids? That should not be any of your business. Oh. Since we are here, it is my business. Your money just went up. $30,000 or your husband, your impotent husband, realizes that his wife is a cheat. You really think I'm going to give you $30,000? You're still talking. $40,000. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're very wise. Look. I've been married to Steven for five good years and he has never found out that our two kids You know I will not. You know, I thought I was a badass, but apparently Steve married a criminal. You must have some ass. I do! Yes. Hi, Steven. I need you to get up right now. I've heard everything. You're not pregnant. Great before I call the police. On me, or on her. I say leave. Honey. And as for you, I loved you. I gave you everything. Is this how you pay me? I'm sorry. You just have to forgive me. I had to do it. I had to cover your shame. I mean, we went to several medical centers and they said you were infertile. Remember, I told you. I told you to go for tests, but you didn't want to, so I had to do it myself. Okay, please, just forgive me, okay? You should have told me before sleeping with another man, to make me feel like a man. Now you pay me this? How did you get pregnant with two kids? Are you trying to tell me it's artificial insemination? No, it's not. I only wanted to help you out. We can't be married for five years without kids. And I know the fault is from you and not me. Please, forgive me. Yes, I'm a bit infertile, but listen, I'm not a co-hearted liar like you. Steven, you can't talk about lying here. I mean, you also had an affair. You were having an affair outside of your marriage. Listen, I never had an affair with that lady. All she did was she drugged me. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. And this is what I get from you. I can see I'm a stranger in this family. You and your kids can have a better life with your father. Right now, I'm done with this marriage. I want to pack my things and leave this house. No, please. Yes, to me. Don't leave. Don't leave. Steven, I'm sorry. I, I had to just help you. 
Come back, come, come, come back here. Come back, come back here. Come back here. Rubbish. Clear this place and get out of this place. This business transaction. Yes, he's here. Hey, girl. Oh, girl. Yes, yes. Oh, my girl. How are you? You're fine. <laughs> it's good to see you, girl. So what's up? I'm good. Heavy. You've still not changed. Please. What do you mean? I mean, you're still that rich single heavy that I know. I mean, heavy. It's about time. You need to get a man in your life. Oh, please. Men has come. And come to think of it, would you expect me to settle down with a poor person? <laughs> you're not expecting me to do that, are you? And... No one wants to settle down with a lady whose legs are broken. If you come of it, you have all it takes already. It's about time, you know, get a man. Money speaks. Louise, don't stress the rich woman. She has money. Money. This is just about money. <laughs> Did you just say that? Yes. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear you say that. That reminds me, Evie, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Oh, really? Talk to me. The thing is, my husband's business is on the verge of crumbling, and I really need your help. Okay, so how much are we talking about here? Um, about uh, $20,000. Yeah, <laughs> consider it done. Thank you so much. Evie, you know, I need to boost my finances. Look at you. Fine. How much do you need? Just $5,000. No, is that too much? Just for your personal okay, stuff? Enough of the chatter, ladies. It's okay. Louise, consider it done as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. What did I say about money again? Mm. Please. Money is for spending, isn't it? Oh, where did I keep my manners? I'm so sorry. I should get you something to drink, right? Lucy! Lucy! Where's, where's this girl now? Lucy! Ma, are you, are you deaf? Or are you blind? Can't you see my, my friends are here? Of course, ma, I saw them. I'm making eyes for their drink. Oh, really? Would you ever be so fast in your life? You clumsy thing! Go and get it already! I'm sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry, ladies. That's my new maid. But, Hebe, why would you hire such a person as your maid? I couldn't withstand the pleading from her parents. I don't even understand if poverty is part of their family members or if poverty has refused to leave them alone. I understand. Such people irritates me. So, ladies, what's up? Oh my God! I'm so sorry, ma. I'm so are you mad? Like, are you crazy? You just ruined my two thousand dollars attire. Oh There's my God! Wrong with you. Can you imagine? What is the meaning of this? When I say you are clumsy, you are really clumsy. Now, do you think your paycheck can pay for this? Even your 10 months paycheck cannot get this attire. You know what? Come here. Come. Just come here. Next time, you <gasps> learn to be more careful. <gasps> get out! Get, 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 get out! Come back, come back, come, come back here. Come back. Come back here. Come back here. Rubbish. Clear this place and get out of this place. Clear these things. This clumsy thing. Look how she fell. No stamina. Just imagine. Someone that doesn't know now will think I'm not feeding her. <sighs> I'm so sorry for what just happened. Louise, I would give you money to 
get another one. All right? I'm so sorry. It's fine. I'm so sorry about what just happened, Louis. <laughs> There's a problem. You see, Hivi, left to me, I think you should fire that maid because someday she will do something that you won't respect. I'll look into that. Better. So, baby girl, we are about to take her. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Who did he just got here? Oh, was it because of what just happened? No, Evie. We just have something to do. Like, it's very, very important. Very, very important. Yeah. Okay. But lest I forget, remember you promised to get me that Emmy fashion bag? <laughs> and hi as well. The air you promised me. <laughs> All right. It's fine. I would fulfill my promises. Are you happy now? Yes, we are. And um, have fun at your appointment. Yes, yes with the appointment. Because I don't know what you ladies are up to. <laughs> you don't need to know everything. Come yes. on. Just take good care of yourself. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. <laughs> my girls. I think I should go and um Lucy Lucy Yes ma I'm coming Ma you called me Are you deaf? No ma uh, of course you are because I don't understand why I have to call you twice before you answer me. I'm sorry ma you're not even good at anything. Even as being a maid, you cannot do anything better. I'm so sorry, ma. I was just washing the dishes. Enough. Now you will go to the market and get some foodstuffs. I want to have um, spaghetti bolognese prepared. So after that, you would do my laundry, iron them, and immediately after that, you serve my dish. Okay, ma. But ma, please, can I just do, um, can I just make only the food today? Shut up! You're very stupid. What, what do I pay you for? Exactly what do I pay you for? Will you get up from this and I know what I have to do this minute? Just look at it. Okay. <sighs> Clumsy fool. Why did your parents bring you here? Not for you to serve me. Bunch of poor things. Clumsy fool. Everything you ask her to do, she's always, always. I don't know. If not because of the way it is for me now, was 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 there for me too. What's all this? Wait, wait. Is this? Is this is this a joke? What is running? Everything is Lucy! Lucy! Yes, ma. Come here. What's the meaning of all this? What's the meaning of all this? Why is it that you cannot do anything meaningful with your life? Even as a simple maid. You know what? I'm going to seize your paycheck for the next two months. Ma, please. Ma, please don't do this to me. Ma, please. Ma, please. What I paid you for? Ma, please. What would I leave on? My family, ma, please. I was tired. After washing your clothes, I only them. I made your dish. Oh. I, I slept off. I'm sorry, ma, You're please. You're such a clumsy fool. I was tired. I was... I, I, you don't have any benefits for life. You know what? To add to this error that you have done, I'm also going to deprive you of food for one more week. Yes. And if I discover that you steal my things behind my back, read my lips, I would make sure that life is unbearable for you. Ma, please, I'm Stupid sorry. Ma, please. Now, clear this thing up immediately. Nonsense. Just go, do the dishes, do the laundry, iron my clothes, and serve me food. It's a big deal for you. And hurry up with that thing you're doing there. Clumsy food.
Lucy. Yes, ma. Um, please, ma, don't stress yourself. You will worsen the situation. Um, did you say Franca was going to be here by 10 a.m.? It's already 1 p.m. Did she send a message? Did she call? I called her, ma. Okay. Did you tell her about my condition? Yes, ma. I called her. And I told her how you were feeling. She just listened to me and she said, okay, I hanged up the phone. I even tried calling her again, but it was saying switched off. I sent her a whole lot of messages, but she didn't respond. We usually go out every first Friday of the month to our favorite restaurant. She never comes late for our outings so we go together. Why now? She didn't send a message. No, ma. Oh, what about what about Louise? She, her, her friends and I are supposed to go for a reunion party. Did she say anything? Did she... I sent her a lot of messages, but to no avail, ma. Thank you very much. Louis. One of them will come around. I believe one of them will come around. I'll, I'll just wait. Don't worry. Okay, ma. One of them will come around. Okay, ma. Are they here? Franca and, and Louis, are they here? No, ma. It's past 12 midnight already. Past 12? Yes, ma. They didn't come. I'm so sorry. You said it's past 12, right? Yes, ma. I was supposed to have left in 6. What are you still doing here? Ma, your condition is very critical. And the doctor advised that someone needs to be with you all the time. Since your friends didn't come, I decided to stay back, even though it's past <coughs> my work. <coughs> Sorry. Even though it's past my work hour. I mean, I won't be happy to leave and something happens to you. Anyways, I've turned on the heater for you, ma. You will go in and take your bath. I'll bring in the food when you're done. And you will take your medications. The doctor advised you must take your medications. Let me get you coffee. Listen. I don't understand it. I have insulted you. Said unkind words to you. But you still take care of me. Why? Ma. That I'm poor or from a poor background does not mean I'm actually a bad person. I mean, I can't pay evil for evil. I know you've not been nice to me, but it would be so unfair for me to repay you with evil. I mean, not now that you need me the most. Your friends are not here. I can't leave you. That's why you have me, ma. Franca, Louis. They won't come see me, knowing how bad the state of my health is right now. My finance is crumbling. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, you see. I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm so, come, come, sit, come, sit down. You know what? From now on, sport, you cease to be my maid. 
you're now a member of this household. Ma! Is that not too much? No. Oh my God. For someone who has done what you just did, it can never be too much because, because now I know who my true allies are. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you. Ma, please let me assist you to the bathroom. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lucy. Okay. So, um, I'm supposed to take my drugs after this, right? Yes, ma'am. But first, you need to take a shower. Gladys, how are you? I'm fine, Mom. But you didn't tell us you were coming. Yeah, I just said I should pay you a visit. Thank you. That's good of you. So, what can we offer you? Nothing. I'm fine. Gladys, you must take something. You cannot come here and then you won't take anything. Mom, don't worry. I'm fine. Don't mm. stress yourself. Uh, there's no need to ask her. Does she have a choice? Exactly. Let me <laughs> quickly get <laughs> There you are. Thank you. What is, what is wrong with you? What is it? I hope you didn't get stained. No, no, I'm fine, thank you. Are you sure? Yes. Why don't you remove your dark shade? I think you need to remove it. Sorry. Thank you. Remove your shades. No, mom, I don't think there'll be any need for that. <sighs> remove your dark shade. Remove it. Have to, please. What? Who did this to you? Talk to me. Talk to us. It's Judy, Mom. My son? Darling, are you seeing this? Yes, I'm seeing it. I'm really surprised. You know, where did Brody get it? that? I never taught him like that. Exactly. Where did he get that attitude? Hmm. I've thought so deep. But I couldn't place a finger where he got such attitude from. Hmm. I mean, I've watched you both. I've never seen you scream that mom before. Let alone raising your hands on her. So, I can't even... I can't even place where he got such attitude from. We need to come over to the house and talk to him. I would have followed you home. Yes. If not that you said he is on a trip. Anyway, first thing tomorrow morning, we will be the first set of people you will see at your doorstep. Do you understand? Exactly. Don't worry about it. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Do you want to start going home now? Yes, I do. I don't want you to drive home in this present state. Exactly. I think it's better we call our driver to, to drop you, yeah. to take you home. Yeah. Hello. That is, I checked your location while I was away. Where did you go to? I didn't know you could actually check my location. And that was not the question I asked you. Where did you go to? I went to see your parents. My parents? What for? Nothing. 
It's been long I saw them. I was just missing them. I just decided to spend some time with them. Oh, that's actually good. So, how are my parents doing? They are very fine. Okay, and um, you sure everyone is doing good? Yes, they are. Fine, uh, you can leave. Okay. Wait, uh, Gladys. You said you went to see my parents. Uh, you went with this bruise on your face? No. No, I... Gladys. I was wearing a shirt. You shade. went with this bruise on your face. I see. So Gladys, she went to paint me as a bad person, right? No. Sweetheart. Just shut up. Gladys, what did you go to do at my parents' place? Sweetheart, I was just frustrated. I just went to see them to talk to them. That's all. I promise. That's all. So, you went to my parents' house to tell them I've been beating you? Babe, if I don't talk to them, who else will I talk to? And must you talk to anyone? I'm sorry. It's not intentional. I just needed to talk to someone. I told you let's go for counseling, but you refused. Just shut up. Now, listen to me. What I'm doing to you is very normal. It happens in every home. And the best part is, I am the best husband every woman will pray for. I feed you, I clothe you, I pay the bills. You do nothing. Now, listen carefully. If you want to see a counselor, but I can tell you that this home is better than the counselor's home. Okay, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Oh, now you're saying that you're short up, right? No, I didn't say that. I get it. I talk too much. No, babe. I'm sorry for dragging this conversation this far. That's what I mean. I talk too much, right? No. I'm. I'm just saying sorry because I've led this conversation on for so long. That's all. I'm a fool. I'm very stupid. You think I'm stupid, right? No. You think I'm, 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 I'm not smart, right? You know, I see you don't learn. And that's what... Hey, hold your tail. Listen carefully. The next time you talk to me in this manner, I'll tell you what I'm... <gasps> Are you expecting anyone? No. <laughs> Mom? Dad? Um, please, come in. Oh, please. Oh, uh, maybe just find. Uh, just welcome, get welcome, busy. sir. Oh, yes. Please, Please, have your seat. Let me quickly make you fresh juice. There is no need for that. Come and sit down here. Uh, come and have your seat, Gladys. Okay. Uh, come and have go, your seat. Go, go. Sit, 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 sit. sit. Uh, uh, so. Mom, uh, Dad, I wasn't expecting the both of you. What do I owe this visit? No, I didn't know it would be a surprise to you. Gladys here knows I was coming. She came visiting yesterday. Yes, in interesting. Uh, I'm sure you, you all had a nice conversation. She, she, she told me about the visitation. Mm -hmm. Gladys, are you okay? Yes, ma. I'm mm. very fine. You don't look okay. No, ma, not at all. I'm okay. Anyway, that aside, we came here to talk to you. So darling, I guess uh, you will take it up from here. Thank you very much, my dear. Thank you. Brody. Yes, sir. Gladys told us about how you have been treating her of recent. Yes, that is absolutely wrong. No woman deserves to be treated like that. Uh, 
Sorry, mom. Uh, I don't understand what's going on here. What, what did I do wrong? She came over to the house yesterday. She had bruises all over her face. And she made us to understand that you are the one that made her have those bruises. Rudy, you have been beating your wife. <laughs> yes, mom. I have been beating my wife. And what's bad about it? Wait, mom, dad. Is that the reason why you both came here? Mom, we both know how you were maltreated by dad. How dad punches you every day, beats you at night, and slaps you in the morning. And still, you remained in the marriage. Happy marriage life. Right, dad? Dad, say something. Isn't it a normal thing? Hmm. I don't know what to say at this point. Darling, I guess you have something to say. Hmm. There is a saying that the past always comes back to haunt you. I guess this is one of such situations. Dad, what are you saying? I know how I saw you both while I was growing. Every day you beat mom mm -hmm. and you come out smiling and happy. And I'm sure that's how marriage is supposed to be because we all know women are very problematic and they deserve to be, you know, treated rightly. But dad, my wife here chooses to tell everyone about the little things I do to her. Dad, is it normal? Brody, Gladys does not see it as normal because it is not normal. Uh, uh, wait, oh, hold on. I don't understand you, Dad. Everything I did to your mom was wrong, Brody. Uh, Dad, are you serious right now? And if I may add, I regret my every action beating your mom. But Dad, that must have been so wicked of you. I remember vividly how you boast to your friend about beating my mom. Brody, it is very wrong to put your hands on a woman. Very wrong. Gladys, I'm sorry. I, I never knew what I was doing was wrong. And at this point, I think I really need to see the counselor. Please, forgive me. I've forgiven you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad, for everything. I love you, babe. <laughs> so, uh, what should we offer you? Babe, I think we should prepare something nice for mom and dad. Sure. Let's go that way. Let's go. I love you. I love you too. Let's go. Thank you. What? Hello? Oh my goodness. What is it? My ex just called me that he has kidnapped priest, princess. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> He did oh not process. Baby. Yes. Oh my God, it, I, no, 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 I, I, I can't believe this. Is this really you? Sandra. <laughs> Tony, where have you been? I searched everywhere for you, waited for two years. Why did you disappear like that? Sandra, 
I'm sorry I left without notifying you or telling anyone. But to be honest, I actually went in search of a better life. And thank God, things are better now. Uh, Sandra, I'm sorry. And besides, I had you now have a daughter. <laughs> yes, I have a daughter. And I'm happily married now, Tony. So, how old is your daughter, please? She'll be 23 in the next six months. Okay. Yes. Sandra, I left you two years and six months ago. Wait. Sandra. Yes? Tell me the truth. Who is the father of this child? <laughs> Tony. Did you already know? I think I'm done here. Babe, let's take our leave. Please be fast. You know, I guess it's not a day. Oh, that was fun, you know. <laughs> so tell me, who was that man we saw at the game center? Oh, he's just an old friend of mine. He's no one special. Are you sure? Because he seemed so angry with you for something. And I heard him mention something about a child. Correct me if I'm wrong. I already told you, there's nothing to worry about. Okay, let me just tell you the truth. He's my ex and he thinks I had a child for him. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. But you need to be careful. You know your husband is a loving, sweet man. So he doesn't find out. <laughs> don't worry, he won't. It's nothing. You don't need to worry. Okay, so. girl. So... Let me get you something to eat. Oh, are you okay? I'm okay, I'm okay. Are you sure? I'm very full. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm very full. Oh, okay. Sorry, I need to pick this girl. Hi. It's me, Tony. The father of the child. I did the calculations and I know that child is mine. Sandra, listen to me carefully. This is what will happen. You are going to hand over Princess to me, and you're going to come back to me so we can live happily as a family like we are meant to be. Tony, you know that is not possible. You left me here for years without reaching out. I am happily married, and Menida is with her father, who is my husband, and he has been the best father to her. Never. I would never cheat on my husband. You should know me better, Sandra. I will always get what I want. Have a nice day. I can never cheat on my husband. So please don't ever call this number again. Oh, was it the guy we met at the game center? Yes, he's the one. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. I want to. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. It's fine, don't worry. I won't do it. It's nothing serious. Okay, just be careful. I think I need to take my leave now. Like right now? Yes, yes. It's... Let me get something to eat now. It's past my daughter's closing time. Oh, oh. Yes. Okay. All right then. Take just care. Take care of yourself too. Mm. Be good. Yeah, you too. Bye. <sighs>
Yes. What's the problem? Honey, I know I've failed you and you don't trust me anymore. <laughs> you failed me. I'm confused. You know I told you about my ex? Yes. He's, 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 he's back. And? And he, he wants full custody of princess. <laughs> Tell me you're joking. I'm not. <laughs> Are you for real? Yes, babe, I'm serious. <laughs> I need to pick this girl. I don't know who the person is. I'm sorry. Hello? Hey, listen up. It's me. I have your daughter at my custody. I went to our school and I got her. You listen up carefully. If you want to see your daughter, come and meet me. I'll send you the address. And don't tell anyone about it. And I won't harm you. I just want a nice time with you. <laughs> what? Hello? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is it? My ex just called me that he has kidnapped priest, princess. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. He kidnapped oh princess. Baby. Yes. Okay, you know what? Just just <laughs> calm, calm down. Did he send you address or anything? Let me check. Yes. Alright. Don't oh. worry. Don't worry. Oh my baby. We'll get princess back. I promise you. Are you sure? Yes. You know what, just calm down. Okay? Go we'll dress up. How oh, she be feeling now? It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. It's all right. Oh my god. Oh. You know, like I promised. Our daughter will be safe and fine. Honestly, I've always wanted you. I think. What? Oh! You think you can outsmart me, right? I'll make sure you don't see your daughter again. Mr. Tony, I will save you the stress. My daughter is safe. And as for your accomplice, Mary and Andrew. They are under the police custody. And I will make sure you join them and all of you rot in jail. No, uh, there's a secret I need to tell you. She's keeping it for me. The daughter is not yours. The daughter is mine. Well, I know. I know the daughter is yours. Princess is also my daughter. And I'll take good care of her to the very end. Officer. Please do your job. Sir, you are under arrest. I advise you remain quiet. Anything you say or do, can or will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to a lawyer. If you don't have one, the state will provide one for you. Sir, please move. Sir, please move. Why are you shouting? Are you seriously asking me that? I saw you making out with my boss and you're here asking me. Are you out of your mind or something? Listen, Greg. My candid advice to you right now is to watch what you say. Because. Yeah, so, um, you know, as I was saying, talking about the stuff. Bad. I'm just, I am just so, so tired. And I just, I just need a job to you. Yeah. Oh, phone's ringing. Hello. Hey babe. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, definitely, definitely. I'll be available on Monday, sir. What? Babe, I just got the job. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! I'm so happy! I know. 
I mean, I, I am so grateful to you. I mean, all those overnight you <laughs> trying to come up with the best proposal, then go in vain. It's fine. Look, who else am I supposed to do it for? I will do it over and over and over and over again. Man, I am so you, happy. Thank you, thank you. I think we should go home and celebrate this. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> so babe, let's take some pictures before the program comes. Okay, okay. Nah, I don't like that one. No, oh, come on. I think I like Let's this one. one. <laughs> you so sweet. Yeah, let's take this one. What? <clears throat> Who is she? she? She's my... I'm his cousin. My cousin. Oh my god, you're his cousin. Oh, it really feels so good to finally meet your family. <laughs> yeah. You're so beautiful. You both look alike. <laughs> really? Yes. I mean, I've been in a relationship with my boyfriend for two years now. And you don't know how much it feels to finally meet your family. Two years? Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, <laughs> are you okay? Yes, he tells me so, so much about you. you. You, about how you take care of him and all that. He really likes you. Well, on the contrary, your cousin here is the one who takes care of me. Look at this beautiful ring. It's an expensive gift. He bought it for me for two hundred dollars, oh. and he promised me a trip to Paris next week. <laughs> Are, are you fine? <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy for you. So he's like that. He he's such a nice person. I, know. I have to go now. Oh, so fast. Yes. Okay. I'll see you some other time. Surely. You don't seem fine. Just I'm fine. I just I have to leave. I'm in a hurry. Right. Sure. Uh, please take care of yourself, right? Thank you. I mean, you got me so Beautiful. Uh, Alright, so please, let's get in before. What? Where are you going to? You expect me to still be here after everything you've done to me. But you can't blame me. You caused it. Greg, I cost it. Yeah. How? All of a sudden, you don't even dress nice anymore. You don't look sexy. Sometimes you stink. I mean, look at you. Red spot all over your face. Greg! Is that the reason you left me for another... You left me for another woman? Isn't, isn't that worth it? I will leave. All right, your wish. So, I'm telling you about the way I need to get. I really need it. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, Greg. Uh, sir, what are you doing here? Yeah, this is not your area. Oh, I actually came to see a friend. I'll be leaving soon. Oh, oh, okay, sir. Um, sir, this is my girlfriend. Sandra, this is my boss. Your boss? Yeah. The one you told me about? Definitely. The one who has a company in Paris, has a Lamborghini and a private jet? Yes. Oh my God, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> 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 oh my god, it's so nice to meet you. Uh, um, nice meeting you, Sandra. And Mr. Greg, I must say, you are a very really beautiful girlfriend. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hope to see you around the office. Definitely, sir. I will. Yes, sir. Let's go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> But babe, why were you like that around my boss? Greg, it was just a harmless hype. Come on. Really? 
I wasn't too comfortable with the way you were around it. <laughs> Great. You're always just so jealous and paranoid. You have nothing, absolutely nothing to worry about. Are Let's, you sure? Yes, let's go. <laughs> you have nothing, absolutely nothing to worry about. Why are you shouting? Are you seriously asking me that? I saw you making out with my boss and you are here asking me. Are you out of your mind or something? Listen, Greg. My candid advice to you right now is to watch what you say. Because we are no longer in the same level. And boss, I am so disappointed in you. How can you do this to me? I see your girlfriend is no longer interested in you. So I advise you leave now. And one more thing. I think your services is no longer needed. Yes, exactly. That is the best decision ever. Fire him. Greg, go to your office, clear your desk and leave. Leave! Lisa. Greg. Wait, what are you doing here? I own this company. I am the CEO. You're, are you the boss I'm supposed to see before I get employed here? Yeah? I think so. Lisa. Wow. This is this is really crazy. <sighs> see, I, I went through hell when you left me, Lisa. Greg. It is expected. Did you expect to live a peaceful life after everything you did to me? Lisa, I, I am truly so sorry. I am so sorry for how I treated you. But I really need this job. I'm sorry, Greg. I can't help you. You will not get that job here. After you dumped me, you made me feel worthless and useless. Greg, do you realize what it took for me to pick myself back up? I just told myself I had, to, I had to somehow find my way. I had to invest in myself to make myself better, better and bigger. Greg, you ruined me. You damaged me. Lisa. Please, I'm not done. I'm not done. All the time and days I spent investing in you, I should have used it on myself. I am not done! And guess what? Foolish me, naive me, while I was helping you grow, you took your time to date somebody else for two years. No. To shut up, I'm not done! Two good years! Greg, for two years you were dating someone. I invested all of my time and resources. You know what? I am grateful I did not spend so much time wallowing in self-pity. Greg, guess what? I grew this by myself. Like I said, you will not get a job here. I'm not done. You will not... You and I have no business. And this is me being fair. This is me being fair, Greg. Get out. Lisa, see. I said get out. It's the work of the devil. I am so sorry. The devil used you. I said, get out. I am sorry. Get out. I am sincerely sorry. Out. Please. Get out. Get out. <laughs> One of the robots pointed the gun straight to my head. Oh my god. I don't know how. I don't know how it happened. I, 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 I don't know what happened, but it did not shoot me for no reason. Oh my god. In fact, babe, my phone, my wristwatch, the money in my bag that we're supposed to use to repair the roof and 
odalik. We are so late. I'm sorry. After closing hour, the boss called that we should have a very brief meeting, but it took hours. And I can't say no. She knows I can't leave. My work is just so hectic. I'm sorry. This your work is really stressful. Very stressful. I just need to, you know, go upstairs and I'm tired. Oh, um, but wait, how about the food I prepared for you? Babe, all I want right now is just a shower and sleep. Okay. I love you and bring this for me. Please just go. <laughs> <laughs> enough. Well, I'm fresh enough then. I might consider you. Really? Babe, I'm here. So let's... Lizzie! Lizzie! Liz! My phone. Where is watch? She's a thief? Lizzie! Liz! Oh, I think I need to... Who, who is that? Babe. What happened? What's wrong? I've been calling your lines. It's not reachable. Why are you so late? This is 12.30. Babe, all I wanted to do right now is thank God for my life. What happened? Talk to me. You're scaring me. I don't know, but you would have become a widow tonight. What? What's wrong? What happened to you? Ham robbers. I, I was attacked by ham robbers and 55 people were killed. 50 what? 55 people. But honey, how, how did you count them? It happened right before my eyes. Oh my One God. of the robbers pointed the gun straight to my head. Oh my God. I don't know how. I don't know how it happened. I, 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 I don't know what happened. But it did not shoot me for no reason. Oh my god! In fact, babe, my 
phone, my wristwatch, the money in my bag that we're supposed to use to repair the <laughs> roof and other leak. I, I, I don't know, but they took everything from me. me. But, but babe, wait, I, I didn't oh. hear anything on the news. Wait, Camilla, you are more concerned about Yenis from the news first than my own life? No, babe, that's not what I need. Don't touch me. Babe! Babe! Not another word from you. Like, how? I... Record. You know that's not what I Don't need. Don't say a word! But. What's your thing on me? iPhone 40, just go like that. Thank God. So this is you, in my house. After what, three months? Because you got a new job, you decided to forget about your friend. Isn't that right? You know, it's not like that. You're my friend. Anyways, I came here to talk to you about something very important. Mm, I thought as much. Look, I know you're here to tell me something, but believe me, the gist I have for you is more important. Do you know that I would have become a widow by now? How so? My husband. He was attacked by armed robbers yesterday. They almost killed him. If it's, you need to see the way they were shooting. <sighs> were you there with him? No. So how do you have so much detail? Well, he told me. He told me about it and they, they took his phone, his money, everything. I'm just so happy he's alive. I don't know what I would have done. When did this happen? Um, around 12, 12 Yesterday? Yes. Camilla, you are a fool. What? You are a big fool. You haven't changed. I don't understand. What are you going on about? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You are the Ruth of our time. Pious woman. You would always carry your husband on your head. So much so that you are so blind. That you don't see what's happening right under your nose. It's on top of your nose. What are you talking about? You want to wait till he infects you with an STD. Or worse still, HIV, before you wisen up. Wait, let me finish. How would you, every day he comes back and he tells you different stories and you swallow them, hook, line, sinker. Your husband was at the hotel yesterday. Yes. Around 12.30. 12, 12, 12 30 thereabouts. <laughs> I took pictures of him. I took pictures, back view. I chose not to take the front so that he would not recognize me. You understand? No, don't come be cheating. It's your turn with a strange woman. Here you go. Swipe. What? <laughs> Tom? Who, who is she? What? How, how could he? Don't cry. Crying will not solve anything. You understand? Your husband is a cheat. And I'm only telling you this because I am your friend and I have watched you swallow rubbish on and off. Good. Crying would not solve anything. You know what to do. How oh can Don't do this. He can and he's doing it. After everything, Ruth of our time. And it's fine. I'm here for you. Do you understand? I'm here for you. It's fine. Stop crying. See, you, what you have to do now is the right thing. Tears would not solve anything. Hi, babe. Honey. 
your leads. Again. I swear to God, I... I don't know what happened. It's Google Map. Google Map. You... You needed Google Map to come to a house we've been living in for the past two and a half years? You should know, I, I don't know, I'm confused. Like, the road, everything is just confusing me and... Tom, shut up! Just shut up! I should shut up? Yes! What... What is wrong with you? When does it end? Your lies? Your unfaithfulness? Your cheating? Oh, you think I don't know? <laughs> you cheat on me. You go out every day and come back to this house so late because you're out there in Mossy Hotel with different girls every day. And then you come back to this house and sleep with me. How wicked can you be? What are you talking about? I, I don't know nothing about this. You know I am very honest and I would never, ever cheat on you. Wow, you're so faithful, aren't you? Very faithful. That's oh. the last thing I would do, babe. Hold on, I have a picture of your faithfulness. Really? Uh, babe, just Here. Hey, how did you get this? Uh, babe, I have. Babe, this is actually a business partner. And sorry, you want to lie. You want to continue in your lies. So every night, it's a different business partner, and none, <laughs> no one of them is male. You only work with female, right? So I am so. I'm so disappointed in you. You're so wicked. Uh, 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 it's, it's, it's the devil. Oh, the de <laughs> of course. Of course it's the devil. It's not your fault. <sighs> you know what? I am done. Done! You can go ahead. Be, be, be. Go ahead and marry that devil. Be, 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 be. Don't! Yeah, I, I I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can't stand you. Camilla, please. Cam Camilla, please. Please, come. Excuse me, sir. Hello, how can I help you? I noticed you picked something up from that shelf. But you put it inside your pocket instead of a basket. Um, excuse me. Do you work here, maybe a customer rep or something? Or do you own this supermarket? No, I'm just a customer like you. So how was any of my action your concern? It's none of my concern, actually. But I feel like we should do the right thing as humans. If you're putting it in your pocket, that means you do not intend to pay. So, tell me, what is the right thing? You take it to the cashier and pay for it properly. Do you want to steal it? It seems like you don't have anything good to do with your time. Because none of these actions of mine concern you. You seem to be jobless, I guess. Well, like you said earlier, it's none of my concern. But need I remind you that there are cameras here and people are watching what you're doing. So you mean to tell me these things are going to see me? 
They can't. I'm gone already. <laughs> but do you remember something called karma? Are you going to preach karma to me? Please, it seems you have nothing good to do with your time. I'm out of here, please. Good morning. You're welcome, Mr. Alex. Please have your seat. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Alex, I must say you are very lucky. You know, amongst all the candidates, the CEO picked you. Really? <laughs> yes. Congratulations. You are the new manager of this company. Thank you very much. Just in case you don't know, there's a free accommodation. Yes. A private car and a chef to cook for you every day. You don't know how much this means to me. If you had known my situation before this job, it was scary. I couldn't afford to eat every day. But I appreciate this. I'm really sorry. But trust me, you are not going back to the life again. It's now left to you to resume. Oh, okay, that's nice. You know, the CEO is not around, but she left a message for you. When would you like to resume? I can resume right away. All right. Let me just get the details from the supervisor. Okay, thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again. I'm sorry, do I know you? <laughs> well, that's expected. I was the lady who pointed out at the supermarket that you took something and didn't pay for it. You mean the preacher of karma? <laughs> well, it's also good to see you again. At least this time I can tell you I'm yet to see your karma. Well, my mom always says, no matter how you run, karma will always find you. Will you just shut it? Don't you get tired of poking your nose in other people's businesses? Look, I'm here for something totally different and even more serious. So just find a way to get yourself out of here. Something better. Oh, madam, you're here. Yes. I wasn't expecting you to be back so early. Yes, I just came to drop this card for you. You know how important it is. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Oh, madam, meet Mr. Alex, the candidate who you picked for the position of the manager. <laughs> you mean this is the person that I picked? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Uh, excuse me, please. Um, I I'm getting a bit confused. What's going on here? Sorry. Um, this is. Ms. Gina, the CEO of our company. The person who employed you. Please, do not give him the keys anymore. He cannot work with us. Uh, Ma, please. I'm, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for the insults, for the harsh tone and, and all the hurtful words. Please, please, I, 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 I need this job, please. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, please. Please, have mercy on me. The harsh words and everything is not a problem to me. If you had used your aggressive words, it would still be the right thing. You would have been hired. But the fact that you refuse to do the right thing, that's why I cannot hire you today. Uh, uh, please, please, ma, please. L look, I can assure you, I'm a totally changed person now. Please, I'm, I'm changed. Help me. How do I know you've truly changed? I am sure you know this company very well. You know how far our name have gone. Handing a position to someone like you, don't you think that's a risk? Please. Like I said, I've changed. 
Kama found me. Please. Please. Do you think Kama found you? Well, like he said, Kama can never find you. Anyways, I'm running late and I have to leave now. P please, please don't leave. Please, please, ma. Please, ma. Please, please don't leave. Mr. Williams, please. Please help me. You need to help me. I, 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 need, I need this job. Please. Mr. Alex, to be frank with you, there's nothing I can do. She is the boss. She has the final say. Please, please you, you should be able to do something, please. Come on. What is going on here? What is really wrong with you people in this hospital? I brought my son here since morning and I'm not seen anyone to attend to my son with concrete treatment. What is the meaning of all this? What is going on? I'm so sorry, sir. We have been trying to reach the doctor, but his number is unavailable. What sort of rubbish are you saying? Will you just shut up? I'm sorry. Let me try calling him again. It's ringing, but he's not picking. I'm sure he'll call back. Just then. Will you just shut up? Every rubbish you are seeing is getting me frustrated. I'm sorry. Sir. Don't tell me I'm sorry. Oh, he's calling back. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. A patient is. Okay, 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 sir. Thank you. I can assure you, if I don't get to see that doctor in the next ten minutes, I'm gonna turn this place upside down. Oh my god, what's Sir, going? don't worry, relax, it's closed. Just get out of my sight for now. Why is he not picking? He's not picking. <sighs> sir, thank God you're here. Your lab coat. Thank you. Is everything in place? Yes, sir. I've she taken down his vitals. Yes, sir. Please send it to my desk. Right. Come with me. Okay, sir. Are you the doctor? Yes. How would you say you are a competent doctor and you let the lives of your patient waste while you are away? What is taking you away? Sir, please, you need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. What nonsense are you spewing? If it was your son on that table, would you allow your son to die? Would you allow your son to die? Sir, I came here immediately, I got the call. I will attend to your son. And by God's grace, he will be fine. I need to leave now. Please just get out. Come with me. Uh, uh, doctor, uh, uh, how is he? Thank goodness, your son is fine. <laughs> you can relax now. Whatever you need, whatever question you want to ask, don't worry. They also attend to you. I'm sorry, I need to leave now. Uh, okay, but, uh, but, but doctor... Look 
kind of doctor is this? Well, great that you're here, nurse. How's my son? He's fine. Everything was successful. Oh, 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 oh great. Yes, yes. Um, but what is wrong with the doctor? Why was he so heartless? He couldn't even spend five minutes after breaking the news to me. Like, he was so unprofessional, so incompetent. No human feeling, no iota of empathy at all. I needed to ask questions about my son's current state and he couldn't even wait a few minutes. Please, don't break it to me. Why this mood? The doctor told me my son was fine. Please talk to me. Actually, sir, your son is very fine. He's in a perfect condition. Then what are the tears for? Well, the doctor lost his only son in a car accident. And today is the funeral. He actually rushed down when we called him just to attend to you and your son. What? And now he has saved your son's life. He's actually rushing back to complete the burial ceremony. <sighs> you can go and check your son. I'll take my leave now. Oh my God. What have I done? Such a kind man. Oh, hopefully he can forgive me. Me, chemistry, with you of all people. I'd rather do that with a peak. I can understand. And that's what they see little girls like you do, run with peaks. But I mean, if you're the only woman on this planet, trust me, I'd rather die single. <clears throat> you don't live far from this office, yet you're perpetually late. God knows if I am your boss, I would have dismissed you a long time that ago. That is why you can never be a boss of me. You cynical judgmental straight jacket moron. Really? Jeff, what is this? And what does it look like? What? From the boss? <laughs> what? How? I... Relax, relax. I mean, you needed to see your reaction. I should have actually recorded that to post on the ground. You know. Are you okay? No, Jeff, are you okay? What sort of prank is this? I should have known this has your hand written all over it. Mm -hmm. I hate you. The feeling is not your baby girl. Don't you ever call me baby girl like I'm your kid sister. I'll call you whenever I like. Deal with it, baby girl. Call me baby girl one more time and I will... And what will you do about it, baby girl? And what's going on here? Nothing, ma. Nothing, ma. Something suspicious is going on. Is it just me or do you have a chemistry? <coughs> <coughs> Whatever. Please see me in my office in an hour, both of you. Okay, okay. well. Me. Chemistry. With you of all people. I'd rather do that with a peak. I can understand. And that is what they see little girls like you do. Roll with peaks. But, I mean, if you're really the only woman on this planet, trust me, I'd rather die single. You really meant that? Huh? Mm-hmm. Sure. 
Jeff, you really hate me that much, don't you? Is that surrender I hear in your voice? Huh. Are you about to cry? Don't worry, I'll get you tissue paper. Come near me and I will slap that silly smile off your face. You said this game you're playing. I ain't no winning for you, baby girl. We'll see about that. All right, baby girl. Good day, ma. Sit. Thank you. And I hope we have sorted out the morning debacle. We're all in this office. Anyways, a top managerial position has become vacant in this company. And I consider you both to be the best candidates next in line. However, only one person will be given the promotion. The board and I will watch both of you closely. And the criteria I'll be looking at will be um, hard work, punctuality, teamwork, and most importantly, leadership. By the end of the month, we will decide who takes this position. Is that understood? Any questions? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. May the best man or woman win. Thank you so much, ma'am. You may leave. Thank you, ma'am. I didn't catch the joke. It was funny. Oh, so you don't realize your days in this company are not bad. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, you don't realize once I become your boss, you're fired. <laughs> oh, please. You can never be my boss. Did you listen to the criteria the boss outlined? Yes. Teamwork, punctuality, hard work, leadership. You and I know you don't have all these things compared to me. <laughs> Jeff, who has been feeding you with these lies? Every single person around here knows that the only thing that you are good at is coming early. And apparently, I work harder than anyone else in this company. Speaking of teamwork, we all know that you love doing things in your own way by yourself. And then for leadership... Don't even go there. I am more of a leader than you will ever be. Can't you see everyone respects me around here? Says who? Mister, they only fear you. Because at every single mistake that anyone makes, you threaten to take away their livelihood. Because the company doesn't pay them to make mistakes. Exactly. Exactly what I am talking about. You are a terrible leader and you would never, read my lips, ever be my boss. So, let's make a deal. Okay. If I get a position, you will have to resign. So I don't have to fire you. But if you get a position, of course, I will resign. Are you really doing this? No. Are you scared that I might win? Deal. I mean, I hate that I'm doing this, but if it's what I would have to do to get rid of you for good, then I would do it. All right, so. What are you doing? What is this game you play? You mean a game where we pretend like we hate each other at work? Do you really hate me? Sorry, I... Sorry. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that. I,
and Jeff. You know I hold you in high regards. And I really do want you to get this promotion. However, Linda can be a badass whenever she brings her A game. It's all good. If you need my help winning this, you can let me know. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your offer. Mm. Well, I don't need your help, ma'am. Yes, I can beat her on my own. I have my strategy. Strategy? Yes, ma'am. I know you to be a very smart man, and um, you are very good at picking out the weak points of your opponents. So I trust you. Anyways, that'll be all. You may go. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Linda, 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 what? what was that all about? I bumped into you at the entrance and all of a sudden you're hungry. What's, what's this all about? You're asking me what it's all about. Like you have no idea what I'm angry about. I, I don't know, I don't know. What, what are you... I was on my way to Mrs. Maxwell's office and I overheard every single thing that you both discussed. Seriously, Jeff? It is not what you think. You have your own strategy. Here yeah, I was thinking that we had something really amazing going on. I should have known that you would go any length just to win. You're pathetic. I don't want to have any of that, okay? You fool me boss. you would not do that a second time. And whatever game it is we're playing, right? Whatever it is that we have between us, I'm out. It's over. Linda. Please. Linda. Please. Linda. Leave me. Congratulations, Miss Linda. You got the promotion. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much for your support. I will let you down, I promise. I hope so. I really do hope so. I do hope you keep to your promise, because that's a promise and I'm taking your word. Yes, ma'am. Uh, these are the board members. Do you have any questions or advice for her? None for now. I would like to say congratulations, and we hope you give your best. Thank you. All right, um, in the absence of no questions or advice, I think we can all get back to work. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. That's it. Um, excuse me, ma. Um, I've not seen Jeff around. I was so certain he had bagged the promotion. Actually, Jeff bagged the promotion. And he actually won by a slim margin. For some reason, he declined to take the job. He declined? Yes, he did. He said you could have it. He declined the job saying you deserve it, cleared his decks and left. What do you mean he left? He resigned. What? Linda, look, I have known Jeff for a very long time. And this position is a huge step in his career. Right now, he's, he's either madly insane for letting this go, or he's completely in love. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know which it is. Oh my God, excuse me, ma, I'm sorry. Hey. Hey. Linda, what are you doing here? Oh, easy. Why did you do it? Is this not your dream? Do what exactly? I know you forfeited the promotion so I could have it. She wouldn't have told you this. But anyway, if it makes you feel better, all right? Um, I've always wanted to start my own business and somehow they gave me the needed motivation. But Jeff, I thought this was all a game, your strategy to get the promotion. Why give everything up? And so we told you I gave up everything. 
ऐसे I gave up my job, so my dream girl. So for me, that's a way. That's the way. Oh. Don't don't do it. Good afternoon, ma. Yeah, afternoon. Ma, would you like to see the CEO of the property? Exactly. I want to see the CEO of the. Of this property. Okay, mm. um, please hold on while I inform him that you're around. What? Pardon? Um, ma, I said you wait while I inform him that you're around. You don't ask me to wait. Just call him, tell him I am around, and I will leave. Okay, ma. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, no problem. Um, why would you like to see the CEO? What a nonsense question, coming from a common secretary. Why would you ask me such a question? Look, I want to see the CEO, or else I will get you fired. But the question was that. Directed to him. That is none of my business. Call me the CEO or the general manager, whoever. And if you fail to do that, I will get you fired. Ma, okay, okay, please, I, I will. Please don't call my boss. I will do whatever you want me to do. What did you just say? And I would. Call my boss now. No, after that. I, I will do anything you want me to do for you not to call my boss. Oh, good. <laughs> Say to yourself, I am a foolish secretary. I. I am a foolish secretary. Say it again, Ma. Say it again, or else. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I am a foolish secretary. Good. Hello, sir. Yes, she's still here. Okay. All right, okay, sir. Ma, I'm very, very sorry. My boss said he would, he would not be able to see you anymore due to an important meeting he has to attend. Oh, damn. After wasting my time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, Ma. Darling, yes. can you please help me bring in more plates? Okay. Okay. Here you go, my dear. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Good. But you really stress me. You can't blame me. Our son is bringing in his fiance today, and I can't do it all by myself. It's true. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. And I want everything to be in order. Yes, yes. I don't want to miss out on anything. That's true. So, hmm. darling. Yes. I just hope our son ends up with this girl. Yes. You know, she's the daughter of the CEO of C&G Company. That's true. And you know what that means mm. for us and for our company. It will bring more fame mm. to our company. Well, I, uh, I'm not marrying off my son in order to save my company. Uh, all I want is for him to find love and happiness. Well, love and happiness is good, but 
marrying the daughter of a CEO, you know what it means. So that's where I stand. Mm. Mm. Hello, Dad. Hello, Mom. Hey, hello, Josh. Hello, sir. Dad, uh, Mom, meet my fiance. What is she doing here? I thought you said your fiancée is the daughter of the CEO of CNG Limited. Yes, she's the one. She's the daughter of the CEO. I don't get it. Ma, you walked into our office a few months back and you were requesting to see the CEO. However, the secretary was not on seat at that point because I sent her on an errand and I needed to fill in for her. And then you walked in and pulled up that show. And Ma, you made me say the most awful statement to myself that I am the worst secretary ever. Mom, I don't understand what is going on. Honestly, I didn't know you are the daughter of the CEO. I thought you were just a common secretary. If I had known, I would have treated you better. Exactly. Exactly, ma. That is where the problem is. Because she was a secretary does not mean she does not deserve to be treated well. I am very sure she would have loved for you to treat her as much as you treated me. Mom! Susan, Susan, I'm sorry, please. I am sorry. Can we please put this aside and move on? When Josh told me about you, ma, I went to social media and I searched for you. I found your profile and I saw your profile picture. And to be very honest, I could not wait to meet you. When you walked into the company, I was so excited to meet you. But when you pulled up that show, I decided to conceal who I was. And right now, I do not regret doing that because this simply shows the kind of family that I would be married into and the kind of grandma that you likely would be to my kids. And I, I wouldn't love such person to be the grandmother to my kids. Hmm. Susan, please. Susan. It really is not about you. It's about your mom. S Susan, please, don't go. Susan, <sighs> Susan, wait. S mom. I expected more from you. I didn't know. Who's there? It's Josh. Come in. Mom? How are you, Susan? Fine. Babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. Please forgive me. Josh, you know I'm really not angry with you. It's about your mom. I know. And that's the reason why she's here to apologize. I'm really sorry for what happened the other day. And I didn't come here to apologize for you to marry my son or to get fame for my husband's company through your dad. I just don't want to live with the guilt forever knowing that I spoiled my son's happiness because of my bad character. And I don't want him to suffer that pain forever. Ma, it's fine. <laughs> I understand. It really is not worth it. Actually, <laughs> Josh here is one of the nicest person that I've ever met in my entire life. I wasn't going to let the love we've shared together just go like that because of what you did. Wow. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Do you know that you have actually taught me a valuable lesson? Not to look down on anybody, no matter their physical class or level. And sports, I'm going to be treating everyone equally. <laughs> That's so nice to hear, Ma. 
Okay. It's fine. I forgive you. Thank you. I'm not angry anymore. Thank you. Can we hug? <laughs> yes, mother-in-law. Mother-in-law? <laughs> Sorry. Yes, mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>